Hello. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Little Red, what's up? Brutakai, what's up? Merchant Metal, hello. Amazing Auto. D and D and D. Black Creek Jack. Bumble Puppy. Chunky Lover. Blithering Wither. K Rob. Cigar P. Pickles Lover. Jimbo Slice. Rizal Vessel. Zeke. Her Fifteen. Severe Dragon Mirror. Wow, it's a bunch of y'all tonight. Awesome. Um, yeah. All right, let's keep going on this. Sorry about the late start tonight. Yanni at home. Ellie's here. Hello, Ellie. I can't remember wait, where we left off. Molson, what's up? Todd, Dungeon Novice. Thank you. Oh, thank you for subbing. Sub hide. Chuck for subs. Baldric Envoy. Uh, okay, so I think we. Where are we? Um, we had a random encounter last time. I love that. I love that light effect. The lantern off of the magic lantern on Valerie's belt. It's so cool. Um, all right. So here's our party. Baldric Envoy, a main character. He's a fighter. We've got Amiri. She's the iconic barbarian. Valerie, the disgraced paladin, who's now a don't hesitate something, some kind of fighter. Um, oh right, okay. So we went into the dungeon and we fought Tartuccio, who escaped. Um, oh, and now, what's this dude's cool. name? Actually, let me move the chat window here. Uh, up there. Um, I can't remember that guy's name. And Lindsay, our bard. But the dwarf is a cleric. I can't remember his name. Um, Harim. That's right. Servant of a dark god. Abandon hope and embrace the inevitable end. That's the kind of speech that Harim's companions must endure. Oh, he's Grotus. That's right. Every single day. A priest of Grotus, Harim left his dwarven home to spread the word of the god of end times throughout the stolen lands. Well, if you ask me, Harim's just a whiner and one of a kind. All right. Um, Jimbo, yeah, I am really, I've been really enjoying the game so far. I, I, I have to admit, I wasn't really liking it that much during the beta test, but I think they made a ton of mostly, well, a, a lot of cosmetic changes to, for one thing. Like the, it just looks better and it feels better playing it. I love the game log that they added so you can see the dice rolls. I mentioned that a bunch of times um but i'm really liking it now so i think i saw a review today people were talking about one of the things that they oh look at that centipede that's gross a snake is that a is that a deadly coral snake or a harmless king snake i can't remember the stripe order that you have to remember but uh the review that i saw one of the things that it mentioned is that the game doesn't do a very good job of explaining the rules to novices so if you don't have any familiarity with Pathfinder, you're in trouble. Luckily, I have limited familiarity with Pathfinder, as anyone who listens to the podcast can attest. So that isn't an issue. Like, it doesn't explain stuff like what's damage reduction. Um, but, you know, we, we, we know that already, so we're okay. Um, and I know, and again, there's apparently some, some bugs and stuff. What's up, Nate and Switch? Uh, Allison, what's up? Um, oh, I guess that was it. Uh, but I haven't run into any, anything like that yet, so that's good. Um, trophies left. Is that one of those expensive boat? No. That's, oh, right. Okay, so we fought some kobolds. All right, so let's just leave. Lindsay. I'm Lindsay, the author of the book you hold, my dear reader, in your hands. What started in the Academy of Arts and Pit Hacks? But I decided that a real bar doesn't belong within the suffocating walls of some school. I instead set off to find a hero, one worthy of being praised throughout the... Okay. So... Did we come from the ancient tomb? Or are we heading to the ancient tomb? I can't remember. I cannot remember. I think we're heading towards the Thorn Ford. I think we've got to fight those bandits. I believe that's how we do it. 
Um, okay. Well, let's just keep going. See what happens. A thousand years ago, a catastrophe known as Earthfall. Uh, what? Destroyed entire civilizations on Galarian. Among them was the Great Cyclops Empire. Oh, that's cool. I think we were here. Were we? Yeah, I think this is where we fought. Tartuche. It sure is. Look at those dead... Oh, did we leave something here? Nothing. Nothing of great import. No. Okay. Um, right, let's just go... Ooh, wait. Is there a back way out? No, I don't think so. Let's just go through here. Alright, yeah, that's the hidden room we saw. In due time. Um... Amiri is a barbarian from the realm of the Mammoth Lords. She's blunt, a little crude, doesn't talk much about her past. But her heart's in the right place. I wouldn't have anyone else at my side in battle. Alright. Let's try this way. We can get to the ford this way. Ooh, random encounter! Alright, I'm gonna try to fight him. Oh, that's one of the other things that they mention is balancing. There is, and I saw uh, my associate, Thurston Hillman, I saw him Who post on Facebook. Does it matter? All right, more Corbels. I saw him post that he was at like, I'm at first level now. I'm saying that he was at second level and as a random encounter, ran into a greater water elemental, which is like a, an 11 CR encounter. Um, which in one way is cool, because it's just like, oh, there's, I don't like being limited, the world feeling like it's limited only to things that you can fight. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, well, I just have to restart. Serves you right. Serves you right. Amiri, why don't you go for it? Oh, it's goblins. Oh, these are first goblins. Look at their cute little football heads. Um, all right, Virtual Valerie. Why don't you go with that guy? Ooh. Oh! Come on, Hiram. Wait, did you get critical? Ooh. Oh, they have cute little voices. Um, anything good? Not at all. All right, so. I think it may behoove us to rest. Uh, Bellandora, what's up? Always a cleric, what's up? Sander Scamper, what's up? I'm I've basically just started. I'm about an hour and a half in. Um, all right, so this is something we had a lot of trouble with last time was camping. Everywhere I go. Everywhere oh, you look. Oh yeah, we're out of healing and everything. So that's. Um I'll take care of it. Shut up, dude. Alright, let me move my stupid logo. Let's just put it like right there so you know who I am. Um Alright, I could take a potion a poche, but I don't want I wanna save those for combat situations. Increasing scream. I think she's out of spells too. Touch of fatigue, charge. Um, and you're out of channels too, the right, buddy? Near. Mm. Oh yeah, those are your channels. Yeah, you're out of everything. All right, so let's save. It's a five. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Raiders. Yes, new Raiders tonight at midnight. Uh, it's fu Man, I'm really loving that show. I'm loving doing it. It's really great. Great fun for us. All right. 
So, uh, here we go. All right, so let's camp. Okay. And... Okay, so... Um... These healing spells and abilities before resting. We haven't done anything. All right, so she's cooking. Camp camouflage. All right, your characters attempt to hide the camp to reduce the chance of a night encounter. The camouflage aid makes a roll against the area DC to determine the outcome. Each additional character helps the camouflage aid by increasing. Ah, okay. Okay, so there are guards. She's cooking. Lindsay's cooking, He's, uh -huh, and she's out hunting. Okay, well let's let's try this. Let's see if this works. Camp camouflage failed. The cook spoiled the recipe. Hunting took six hours. Got one ration. All right. Um. Yes, I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, we got Bane, True Strike. Talking about some cure wounds. There we go. Nice job. Um. Lindsay. Talking about some cues. All right, one oh, 1924. All right, why don't you? Yes. What's up, Milton? Milton no one. Oh, that was a lousy roll, right? Oh, three points. Lindsay, damn it, Lindsay. What's up, Giza? What's up, my? Lovely young friend. Um, all right. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, it was another lousy roll. What the hell, Lindsay? You are useless. You're not useless, but that wasn't great. All right, let's go ahead and save again. Um, I'm tempted to just camp again. Because it's nightfall. Ponfar Queen. I like your name. Yeah, this is set in Galarian in the, the, the fantasy realm, the default fantasy realm of the Pathfinder tabletop role playing game. Um, Alright. So, okay, how many times can I do this? I think I have. It's this thing. Like, do I buy campsites? I think campsites are a limited resource. I believe. April, see you. Oh, and April, I need to schedule our uh, talk. I keep. I was meaning to do that today. Now that you're back in the states. Um. Shoot. All right. Who knows? They aren't limited. They were at one point there, weren't they, Bregic? I think they were in the beta. All right, so if they're not limited, I'm just going to rest again. Um, and I'm going to oh, blow the rest of these. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Okay, well, good thing I... I uh, resting. Okay, Lindsay. I wrote it like I saw it. You did? Yes. Well, isn't that special? Yes. yes. All right, so... Let's, if it's not full, let's just rest again. Uh, oh, actually. Uh, journal, spell book. Fire, oh wow, yeah, you got all kinds of cool stuff. Aha. <laughs> uh, ah, all right, so there's one, you've got a bonus spot there. Oh, we leveled up. Wait, why is... 
So you're level one, but you're a level two caster. That's interesting. Oh, good night, Giza. Uh, it's fire blind. All right, that's fun. Protection from alignment, raise sickening, inflict light wounds. Inflicting all the light wounds. Um. Why don't you get remove fear? Why not? Wait. You are level. Oh, these are level one spells. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> What's up, A. McDonald? All right, cool. I'm always like. Especially in these games early on, I'm like, what spells do I pick? It's like, I don't fucking know, man. There's too many, especially for clerics. Um, all right. Let's take another rest here. Uh, this. Oh, but we need five rations. Okay. And we're out. All right, well, hopefully. All right, well, let's have Lindsay. No, all right, you do that. Nope, okay, we don't have any spare people, right? Okay, so Amiri's gonna do the hunting again. Let's rest again. I turned to Grotus when I lost everything. You lost everything too, Lindsay. Why do you keep clinging to your old life? Why do you ask? Have my hands withered? Did my eyes fall out? Maybe I forgot all the letters or got a cursed inkwell that evaporates whenever I reach for it. As long as none of that happens, I'll keep writing, just like always. Why do you think I've lost anything at all? Hmm. Somebody's read Stephen King on writing. Ah, okay, so she got rations. Cam camouflage failed. Okay, so that's... The hearty meal gets some kind of benefit for the people. Like, we don't know what it is. That's great. Um, cool. Alright. Alright. Uh, and it's probably... Oh, shit. Okay. Baldrick Envoy suddenly awoke inside the house. It's a dream, I guess. Dogs are howling fiercely, not far away. Smelled like burning. Like it was wooden walls were steaming hot and smoke was wreathing beneath the low ceiling. Um He looked out the window. The instant he approached the window, the glass broke and an arrow hit him in the chest. Falling, he glimpsed a dozen dark figures standing outside, his eyes dimmed. Baldric Envoy's skin felt cold. He heard the murmur of the water and the soft lapping of waves. After opening his eyes, he saw a rocky river bottom and a bloated body, tangled in green water weeds. The drowned man's empty gaze was fixed upon Baldric Envoy. The drowned man's mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River Baldric Envoy. At this moment, Baldric finally awoke. Drenched in sweat, he told us what he'd seen in the dream. Shrike River. Okay, well, that creeped everybody out. What do these horrible dreams that plague our leader every night? A terrible malefaction, blah, blah, blah. Um, terrible malefaction occurred on the shores of the Shrike River, and my book suddenly turned from a heroic epic into a horror story. Okay. All right. Hmm. Riverbed Nightmare. Um, let's see. Let's go to the, let's see, the journal. How do we know what time it is? What time of day is it? Uh, somewhere on the road. Um, Oh, Valerie. Look at how beautiful she is. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Never mind. Uh, I'll leave all that stuff. 
reliable comrade in battle, proud Valerie rejected her destiny as a paladin of Shellin, instead offering the order behind, leaving the off order behind to find her own way in life. Her loyalty to our cause is only matched by her divine beauty. Uh, we save here. Yes, we will. On board. Um, yes. Let's enter this location. Uh, okay. Alright, so we, <laughs> we approach on the cover of night. Definitely gonna have to fight some bandits or something up in here. Yes, Ellie. Good night, Ellie. Yes, check the Twitch tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, Ellie Grant and I are going to be twitching from the office. In all likelihood, it's gonna be the new uh, Marvel Spider-Man game. So come check that out. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Aha! Okay, uh... I don't like surprises. Alright, Lindsay's gonna scamper up and try to disarm that trap. Anything else? Lindsay the Magnificent? No. Nope. Lindsay the Illustrious? Something more simple, like... No, nope, that Lindsay the Great! Uh, Maybe Lindsay the Indecisive. It's a DC 17, and she's a plus five? No, she's got, oh, she's got an eight. I should hold a seven. Okay, let's try it again. Come on, Lindsay. Come on, Lindsay. Just not my lucky day. Well, try it again. I failed. Oh, come on. What are you rolling here, Lindsay? Six and a four. <laughs> come on, Lindsay. Lindsay's gonna roll, Lindsay's gonna roll. Please. There we go. There's no need for applause. You basically took 20. All right, so anything is possible. Get back in the line. Um. I don't want to get caught in the water here. In due time. Oh, there's birds. Wait a minute. Aren't they supposed to be, uh, supposed to fight bandits or something up in here? Keselrick! Bits for sips. Thank you. Is it? What is this? Aha. Oh, edible moss. Doesn't sound that great. And... Is this edible moss, too? Herbs. Oh, let's get some herbs. Get some fighting here. Uh, a cook ingredient? Sure. Yeah, let's get the moss too, why not? Oh, there's something here too. What is this? Grab it, Baldrick. It is. Oh, a scorched fragment of a necklace! This item bears a trace of lost power. It seems you found a shard of a destroyed artifact. Oh, this is another piece. We found another one of these before. You can find all the fragments. An artisan with enough skill could restore it for you. Yes. Okay, that is good to I'm there. have found, I think. So I guess these are just like passive perception checks that are happening. Keselrick! Subhype. Thank you, Keselrick. Very much appreciated, sir and or madam or other. And that is our edible moss. And did you bring enough edible moss for the entire class? Uh, tech dweller, it's yeah. I think. I mean, it you. I believe you can play it turn-based. 
Um, actually, let's check the options here. Gameplay options. Um, controls, graphics. Uh, saving as many extra hold errors. Save slot, tool tip delay, show equipment comparison. Information on combat. Analog settings. Yeah, auto pause. So you can totally play it turn based if you want. Um, you can have it auto pause after each character's round on combat start. You have all these options. It's just like Baldur's Gate in that regard. I don't like playing it that way because it just like slows everything down too too much. Uh, not hanging the grid. I mean, that doesn't really bother me because it's I've never been that attached to it since I grew up kind of playing theater of the mind anyway. Um, but yeah, you can totally play it uh, turn-based. Essentially turn-based if you want to. Um... Uh, <laughs> you can play turn base if maybe we get the higher levels. If we get a druid, we can maybe play turn based. Um, are, are we missing anything here? I don't want. I, I want to leave no stone unturned, as it were. Oh wait! Oh wait! Is this something down here? It's like the edge of something. Is it like a cabin? <gasps> it's a little tree house. Well, what the heck? Wombs! Thank you for the sub. Subs for Chugs. Dustin Alexander. Subs for Chugs. Thank you, sir. What's up, Amelia? How are you doing? Um. Oh! Okay, <laughs> we were about to leave. Cressel, the dark-haired bandit, is picking, kicking the ground irritably. When she sees you, she squares her shoulders and clenches her hand axes. Well, look who's here. The bandit responsible for collecting taxes for the Stag Lord, one of the first dwellers of the Stolen Land you met on your arrival. Oh, right, she was at the outpost. Okay. Um... All right, so let's 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 go through our possible responses here. Easy now. So what, was, what was my voice? Why is there a Shiba Inu running around? Um. All oh right, we had the kind of Cockney thing. Easy now. I'm not here to blanket the stolen lords with corpses. Lower your weapon and let's talk. I won't kill anyone who leaves the Stag Lord service. Is it we need to help me find him? So think about it. Is he really a leader you're ready to die for? Or, I'm looking for the Stag Lord's fortress. Perhaps you'd be willing to help for a small reward? I am not rewarding a bandit. Uh, well, you can tell me everything you know about the Stag Lord and where he's hiding, or you can die and, or just attack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the good. I'm going to try the good option. What's up, Timitius? Brewboy, what's up? Something in your words. Oh, was that a... Was that a diplomacy action or something? I got some... I'll unlock, unlock some achievements. Something in your words seems to have impressed Kressel. She frowns for a moment, then spits. <laughs> Fine, I won't cut your throat, at, for now at least. But I also won't kneel to some rest of upstart. Why would you try to make peace? Are you just naturally kind? You've been listening to Svetlana. Um... I am chaotic good, I believe. Colorado Space, don't do your work. What's up, nobody? <laughs> um, Svetlana asked me to show you mercy. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'll do that one. Kressel frowns, then looks away. Mercy, huh? I haven't heard of that in the Solon lands for a long time. I have performed a chaotic good action. All right, here's my piece. The Stag Lord's been spending more time keeping an eye on the bottom of his glass than what's going on around him. If you want to answer an insult to some rest of crook like Demandy, then you're right. He chose the wrong leader. So go ahead, do whatever you're going to do. I won't stop you, but I won't help you either. And here, give that to Svetlana. This is the wife of the dude at the outpost that told us to do this. Right. The bandit places a ring in your hand, then leaves. 
We got Svetlana's Redding Wing back and a bunch of experience. What's up? Okay. Oh, bye. Bye, guys. Oh, who's this? Jod Kavkin. Uh, what's up, buddy? Just sitting there? Hands are tied? What's up? You see a dark haired man of about 45 with the wrinkles. Hey. Although the wrinkles on his face make him look about 60 at first sight. Mm, hit me. He's currently a prisoner, judging from his tied hands. He slouches a bit, squinting short sightedly at the light as he moves his lips through s as though speaking to someone invisible. He jerks his head up as he notices you. Praise your estil, someone finally chased off those scoundrels. Thank you, stranger. My name is Jod Kavkin. I'm a priest of Arastil from Galt. Ah, a Galtish person. I'm not third level yet, Mr. Phoenix, no. Um, Ultima 6. <laughs> I wish they'd remake Ultima 1 with these graphics. Actually, I'd just like to play Ultima 1 again. Uh, these bandits attacked me as I was crossing the river. said they wanted to take me to their leader to heal their wounds. Not a chance. The strength granted me by Arastil is meant to help honest people, not robbers. Um, I'm neutral good. I'm chaotic good, but this is still a cool thing to do. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Jod mutters a bit, rubbing his hands. Oh, these times. To be a surprise to meet an honest man is to see a manticore at a vegetable stall. Thank you for your help. I have exhausted my supply. Well, actually, Galt. Galt is France, I think. I'll do French. I've exhausted my supply of prayers, but I gladly will pay you in the future once I've restored my strength. Come to me if you ever need to be healed or blessed. Cool. I'm afraid an old fool like me won't be able to handle the mission given to me by Arastil on my own. How can I search for the temple when the bandits around here won't let me take a single step? I'll head to Oleg Leviton's trading post to rest and think of what to do next. Please, traveler, if you happen to think of the ruins of Temple of Elk, come inform old Jod. My gratitude will know no bounds. Are you coming on to me? Uh, cool. All right, so we rescued that. So he will, I assume, be a resource available at the outpost. Um, and I do wish you could rotate the camera. That is a bit annoying, but there's still some treasure about. So that's cool. Uh, rich in orders. Right. Kressel, a task. As soon as you're done with the taxes, find an old hut in the woods upstream of the Thorn River and burn it to the ground. This is the Stag Lord's wish. He literally said, burn, burn. It was originally going to be Dovan, but he grew upset when he learned nobody lived in the hut. Said burning houses, but no one in them was boring. So I said I'd send someone more reliable. It's a strange task, but try to finish it quickly. And no asking, what the, or why bother with this trifle instead of preparing for war with Restoff? We'll get to that. A. All right, so I will take that. Oh, a recipe for sweet pancakes for everyone. Except you. Okay, I'll take those. And notes of a ch Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go, Skyrim. Uh, I'm going to refresh my beverage before I tackle this. I'll be right back. All right. Notes of Traveling Priest, Priest Ithuliak by Tarandine. Imagine this, a girl whose name I shall not disclose. Uh, call her Lisa S. No, that's too specific. Uh, L. Simpson. Comes to town and immediately purchases the most expensive suburban villa. This newcomer spends unfathomable amounts on charity, even returning several tragically perished citizens to life at her own expense. She's very young. Her rough speech and manners indicate that she's not of noble birth. This leaves the whole town wondering, 
How did this young lady come into possession of such huge fortune, and why did she spend it so eagerly? Those secrets were revealed to me when I was invited to the mysterious girl's house to provide healing services. The young lady reluctantly displayed something she'd been hiding from everyone. Terrible acid burns. She forestalled any questions with a single word. Ithuliac. The monstrous black dragon's name was well known in the River Kingdoms. She lived in the region for hundreds of years, inspiring terror and emptying settlements. Many experienced dragon hunters attempted to put a stop to her and all perished. No one knew where Ithuliac's lair was or where she would strike next. The wounds Ithuliac's acid breath left on my patient's body were terrible, but her soul was hurt much worse. A girl and her friends had found the lair of the dragon. I could have kept gathered hunters to destroy the monster, but they instead kept silent in search of profit. When the lair's abs mistress was absent, they would carry, carry treasure out little by little. Ithuliac suspected something was happening, so she set an ambush with thieves, and they were dealt with cruelly. My pit. Uh. Well, okay. Now we got a lot out of that. Um. Bup, bup, bup. Cool. And there's another, looks like a locked chest over here. Everyone gather around. And. Make sure it's not trapped. Let's take a look. Lindsay? Nice. What'd you roll there? 15. DC 15. Ah, oh, nice. Alright, so we got a scroll of doom. Shaken, enemy shaken from one round. That's cool. Alright, I think Harem can cast that. A silver earring. Fine gold left. Scroll of Shocking Grasp. Very nice. I'll take that. I would love to have an arcane caster, a real arcane caster. Not just um, another one. Uh, hematite. Ooh, that's nice. 27 gold. 12 gold in cash. And meat. I store all my meat with my gold. All right. So. Oh, there's another one. Cool. Come on down, buddy. Uh, a silver inkwell. Oh, Lindsay, why don't you go ahead and take that? Mike Boy Doodle. Oh, very nice. I, at some point, I will finish up. I'll do a stream of uh, Throne of Ball and finally finish that for once in my life. Scroll across a touch. Boom. And more cash. Cash, cash, money. All right. Well done. Oh, let me. Yeah, what's up here? A watchtower. The bandits seem to have planned to seriously secure the area. And this is a thing. What is that? The bandits' belongings are piled together in a messy heap. Uh, let's search the belongings for informational valuables. Succeeded! Yeah! You find a cache under all the clothes and blankets. Opening the lid of a small hollow, you find a box full of bottles. An inscription on the side reads, Wine for the Stag Lord. Don't you dare steal it, fools. I'll make sure you rot. Uh, I'm going to take that wine. Red, red wine. I hope a future Supreme Court nominee doesn't punch me in the face. Um, I think that's it. Well, I already did... I already did Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, several times, actually. Um, but I do, I just want to complete something. <laughs> uh, Alright, what is next here? What do we have to do next? Uh, wait, so... Does this, does this mean that it's done? Oh, this is all done. Okay, still in land. You can cross this task off our list. Um, I love Heroes of Might Magic. Um, all right. Examine the old hut that the stag lord... Ah, okay, so that's new. So... Okay, all right. Well, let's just... Oh, Svetlana's ring. All right, so we can return that. Um, Temple of the Elk. Wait, what's the arrival? Wait until Tartuccio. Okay, so I think that's just something that'll happen. Like Tartuccio will 
stumble upon us at some point again. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. And Todd, thanks again for the lordship uh, that he gave to Todd and I, the Scottish lordship. We, we definitely appreciate it. Um, I think we mentioned it in an upcoming episode that's been released yet, but it's, uh, it's really fun. Um, all right. Let's get going. Virtual Valerie. Okay, Rob, we're all at level two still. Um, all right, let's, let's head towards this abandoned hut that they're so interested in. Adventures can wait. What? What do you mean? Why? What happened? Are they tired? Are they tired? They had a hearty meal. A power attack on. Oh, they're fatigued. How far did they go? All right. Uh, right down. Okay, so it's seven o'clock in the morning. Why is he fatigued? How come he's the only one? It's because of his endurance. All right. Oh, this is actually kind of a long trip. Yeah. He, well, yeah, he's fatigued from trap. But why is he the only one that's fatigued? I know he has a higher constitution than like Lindsay does. I think. Um, oh, slow down. Slow down there, buddy. Uh, would be nice. Oh, now she's Don't tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that's really interesting about the history of Galarian Resting is the, nice, the Cyclops kingdom or empire of old. Um, all right, it is evening. I think... All right, they're tired. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to camp here. Uh, actually, let's save first. Adventures can wait. All right, stop complaining. Did he have one of the bad dreams last time arrested? Yes. Oh, there's a person there. <laughs> no, never mind us. We're just going to chill here. Um, oh, can we change the recipe? No. Let's try this. All right, new line. They walk oh, the right. Hoisting shiny watcher. steel above their heads. Yeah, that happened last time walked, when we played. And they walked. <laughs> when were they going to get anywhere already, huh? All right, we got rations. Hearty meal worked. What's up, Sizul? Yeah, that happened last time. When Grant and I played through the beta. is That was, like, so annoying. We just kept being... Fatigued, and we like didn't understand it. Um, all right, but that worked. That's great. Um, right, let's get going. Aha! Magic: The Gathering Arena. No. I play. I've played a very myself. I played a very limited amount of Magic: The Gathering. Uh, when I first moved to New York, the guy that I was subletting from was a professional Magic player, and he left a bunch of his card boxes in the apartment, and so he used to play with with his roommates. That's really the only time I've done it. Um, oh, that's we know this person. She approached me in my room and sort of. 
intimated the a romantic desire. Father, please. I looked for the herbs you asked for. They just weren't enough to... Silence! Did you forget the rules? You speak what I say. You do as I say. Disobedience leads to punishment. He's your... But father... Three times! Zap. Ooh. Enough. I can't. Enough. Nurog attacks youth with acid splash. All right. That was pretty weird. Let's go ahead and save here. Uh, the staircase decayed and collapsed long ago. It can't be climbed. Uh, so there's something up there. I wonder if they actually did burn it. Rotted wooden racks long ago used for drying herbs. Okay. I see something. What do you see, my dear? Perception check succeeded. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, a peridot. A gleaming gem. Uh, another potion of enlarged person. And Kizesh. Very nice. Yeah, that kind of looked like a haunt, didn't it? Cigar Pete. <laughs> There's a duck! There's a duck over here. Oh, and this mist. I forgot about the mist. Uh-oh. Where have you been? I told you to prepare everything for the ritual. You will never give me orders again. What? Well then, summon your power. Or maybe you'd like to try the acid. I'm not your slave any longer. Slack. Not your toy. Oh, oh not your son. Ah, oh, you killed him before. Enough. I, I won't kill you. Your powers will be of use to me. From now on, you will do as I say. You will speak when I say. Wow. Creep. E. Rooney. Um. Is there something in here? There is. There's a sack. The man inside. Great name. Agreed. This game is really fun. I'm enjoying it so much more than I was the beta, as I was saying before. Topaz ring. Very valuable. Potion of vanish. Uh, and money. Yeah. This is a nice little, uh, nice little hall here. And the guardian of the bloom. She's there. Ominously waiting. Right. Oh, maybe it was the stag lord. Waiting for you. The hey, flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers! They will perish before long in this fog. It seems that only you can hear or see the nymph. Ooh, mysterious talk with nobody. Um, I was a druid. Uh, so tell me about tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about my ally. Come around here often. You frequent this part of the forest. Do you really wish to know? I do. Fine. I'll tell you a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. What? Wait. No. Okay. Nymph Enchanted Forest, yeah, got it. The young nymph loved simple things, like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew, or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of 
something there. Right, I'm also already kind of regretting asking you about this. Oh, dreams. Nothing in any Oh, sub, lies of luck. Thank you. Them. Sub. Even a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for our nymph. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. Plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. New notes creep into the aroma of the forest and meadow. Now you smell a storm coming. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. The nymph was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream, even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then magic mist appeared killing everything that lived and the nymph cast about desperately searching for help so far these are the fairy tales final words but i hope this is not the end just yet um I had a strange vision, a young man and an old druid who tortured him, then they exchanged roles. Yes, yes. The soil, water and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. Mm. Was a stag lord. Stag lord was Good once call. the victim of a cruel madman. He has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. But what comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. Tell me what to do next. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past Return. may hide the answers Turn the map. that shape the future. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, would you be willing to share the details of your story, say, before a congressional hearing, about these evil powers, the enchanted forest, the monster... One day, perhaps, perhaps I will tell you more. But it doesn't matter now. We need to concentrate on the problems at our doorstep. The Stag Lord, the Druid, the Mist. Uh, thank you, Pontfar Queen, and whoever else it was that just praised me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, right, later. Bye! Bye! Goodbye! Uh, bye. I will be waiting. In dialogue. All right. So I gotta search the area for evidence of the dude. Well, there, there's loot there. That's good to know. Is there anything up here? Is this the edge of the map? It is. Somebody says something about a log. I miss something? Oh, here's the cabin. Ah, ooh. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's grab this first. And it's, that looks like edible moss. It is. Uh, I'm so smart. All right, let's. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Baldrick, you need to improve your perception, my friend. That was DC1. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. It is Nukra's lost note. 
I went to the old temple of the elk again today. Wicked, gloomy place, just like my soul. It used to shine once, and it is hollow and horrible now. Can he spy on me? Maybe I should lock him up? No, let him be. What can he do, the useless coward? Just whimper and hide. You come again. Did you find something? Oh, yes, I was about to come talk to you. I found the druid's notes. They mention a temple of the elk. Can this help us? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You'll need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan. Um, right, I have a clear goal now. I'll continue my journey. Um, uncover the mystery. Okay, so does anyone know, is this something I should do now, or is this something I should grind towards? Hi, <laughs> Scrotos Wagons. People are really into ASMR these days. Um, alright, I feel like I've got to be... Who will prevail? Oh shit, it's a, it's a ferocious wolf. Ferocious wolves need the most attention. Yeah, I'll do cannon fodder. Actually, I won't, because this is a lot of work. But I like doing it once in a while. Oh, no. Oh, no. My poor cleric. Oh, no. Wolf. Wolfy. Ooh, delicious tenderloin. Mmm, nothing beats the sweet taste of wolf meat. Uh. Oh, there's a stat? Oh, there's nothing in there, so we could stash stuff in there if we wanted. Oh, and there is lovely... Uh, Helvane, yes, I think so. That's something... That's a whole thing. That's something we've been kind of scrambling over. But it should it should be there, yeah, before the, before we do the next show. That's, that's our... Why we're trying to do it. Put cooking herbs in the chest. Mango legs. Okay. I dried out long ago. Um. Is this for fun or? Ah! Thank you, mango legs. What happened there? Well. Oh, so how are you supposed to know that? How are you supposed to know that if you don't have people helping you cheat? Um, I, I short that looks like a plus one short sword. I will take that. And of transmutations and bodily poisons, part one. Alchemy is the triune science of primes or basic elements of which all things are composed. Forces by which those things are set in motion and families of all such things the studious mind can perceive in our world. An art most formidable, it grants the practitioner power over nature, and even over that which beyond nature lies. He who has mastered it has fully become like the gods, yet woe be unto he who sets about its study without diligence and zeal, for his days are numbered. The path ahead is perilous and arduous in equal measure, and he who sets his foot upon it heedlessly shall not find wisdom but only a quick and chrisly end. It's in a note in the beginning. Well, I guess I missed it. Hmm. Never. I don't know. I guess I just missed it. But thank you. Uh, and this is Shambletus. 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 Whatever. I'll take it. Uh, what's that say? Oh, it's on the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. A secret set of notes at the bottom of the map. Aha. Okay. I missed it. Okay. I guess I did miss it. Um. All right, cool. Is there anything else like treasure-wise that I missed down there too, or is it just that note? I don't, I don't 
of wouldn't want to go back down there if I don't have to. Um, uh, lives of lack. We have mostly. Well, I have a gas stove. We have an electric stove in the office. It's mostly gas stoves. Um, all right, I'm just gonna go. Um, yeah, we'll leave. Mary. Um, all right, I am going to make my way back to Oleg's trading post so I can give Svetlana her ring back. Whoa. Okay. Is this the the bear treant that I was reading about? Is that what that is? All right, I'm gonna save just in case because I heard this is really hard. Um, but I'm gonna check this out. It's not okay. An insane dryad. Oh man, oh, it's gotta be raining. Oh shit. Ah. Hey, uh, I'm just here to talk. Uh, I'm Umlo. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Repent. All right, Lindsay, we need your beautiful song to inspire us. Oh shit! Oh no! Uh, damn! Lindsay, are you inspiring us? You are. Call lightning! Oh my god! Uh, let's see. If anyone can do anything more fun, what is this? Tree affliction. So use the poison character moralized. Mm. Let, let's see. Wow. Yeah, this looks this looks tough. Okay, so what do you got here? You got feet injuries. Oh, okay, so you stepped on like caltrops. Uh, oh, you need to rage, right? Uh, lethal stance. Yeah, rage. Rage against the machine. Man, y'all slow. Uh, all right, channel, buddy. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, and he did. That's right. He doesn't have selective. Okay, so that healed her, too. Um, that is a big air of effect. Let's uh, try it. Wait. Try to flank her with some rats. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so she has DR, right? This is 10 damage reduced. 15, she has DR5. Um, where's she at? Gosh, she's like halfway down. Oy vey. Yeah, I'm excited and scared for Strange Eons too. I, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, I'm also excited for this Friday. 
to continue the playtest. Eric Mona will be joining us live in the studio. And he has some kind of weird, crazy character. I'm sure. That will be really fun. Um, all right, Harem, I know this is going to take a while, but I want you to go over here. All right, take the long way. That's cool. That's fine. Kill me. Kill me. Uh, do you have... Um, all right, I get, what is this? Kill moderate. Uh, let's see. Notable, usable, accessory, let's say usable. Let's give you some push. Pushiones. Uh, you could hit a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and load you up with these. Your body is starting a strange Eons game? You should see a doctor. Uh, push or move blind. Uh, oh, I'm tempted to do enlarge person on her, actually. Okay, let's give her one of those. <laughs> Alright, let's see how long this fight goes. But that would be. I right, just got five rounds of rage left. Acrobatics. Your life ebbs low. Uh. There we go. That's my friend. All right, so she is flanked. She should be flanked now. I'm going to channel it again, even though it will heal her. All right, I don't want to use it now because this fight is close to it. But oh, we got our dog. We got our summon dog. Oh, so close. Lindsay, 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 Lindsay. Don't kill me. Protect me, please. Oh, miserable. Oh, no. Last chapter. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, hold still. <laughs> Let's wait for this to be done with. Patience. Uh, Alright, let's look at her body. What do we got here? A copper ring. Uh, gold coin. Oh, we got that magic sword, too. I totally forgot about it. Um, you have to have two people in melee to flank. What do you mean? I have to have, like, two people on each side of a person? It's dumb. Why did they change that? Um, all right, yeah, we are definitely hurting. Uh, uh, channel again. Very good. And I think we're going to go ahead and camp here. Seems not right. Oh, damn it. I did it again. Turinos. Okay, Lindsay. Alright, you've got a couple channel or cures left. Uh, magician heal thyself. Uh yeah, I know about the backspace thing, yeah. Um Okay, one more. Oh no, you're not gonna heal me. Alright, Amiri. Yes, yes. Brace yourself. Man, she is bad at that. And that's it. Um, all right, she's down 10. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's save here. Um, Uh, all right, yeah, we're gonna camp.
Yeah, it seems like they did address the camping a little bit too. This was definitely <laughs> um, way more frustrating during the beta. You know, sometimes I try to imagine what it's like to be like you. A knight in shining armor and the queen of hearts all rolled into one. Your life is like a novel. From a distance, it looks like a blessing. Does it not? Okay, got our food. Cook hopelessly spoiled hearty meal. The smell of burnt food might reveal your camp. Alright. Great job, Lindsay. Lindsay! Putting Lindsay on a special role and having one person stand guard. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else? Ah, alright, you've got a special tree stump there, I see. Let's check it out, Amiri. Scroll of Freedom of Movement. Oh, very nice. And a magical sickle. Oh, yes, yeah, speaking of which. Um, go to inventory. Uh, let's see, weapons. Short sword plus one. Ninzi, do you use a short sword? New one. I can't. Amiri, no. Wait, what do you have? We have a master with a longsword. Uh, I will give that to Lindsay just in case. Oh, longsword plus one. Oh, shit. Wow. I totally missed that. Oh, that helps. That's a big help. And Lindsay, I will give you... Oh, and you'd have a sickle, too. Oh, and it's keen. Wow. Can you use it, buddy? That is probably... That might be better... Just because it's magical, that might be a better option. Since you're involved in melee more often, I will give you that sickle. Swing! All right, and... Lindsay... I will give you the magical short sword. I shall call you Sting. Useless midgets. Uh, uh, thank you, bits for sips. Thank you, sir. Um, awesome. Any magic armor? No? Magic weapons? What is this? A garnet ring. Crap. Crap. I mean, valuable crap, but still crap. Okay. Uh, um, is there anything else? No, so let's just let's just check out the area. Ah, oh, this awful fog. Um, ah. In due time. In due time. Yeah, Mr. Phoenix. Yeah, considering the size of the of the development team and this being a first foray into. Any real kind of like Pathfinder role playing, this is pretty great. Why can't I interact with Hi any there. of the mallards? All right. Uh, I guess we're leaving now. Missing anything? It's a dagger. Don't care. Let's just leave. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, the oak that strayed. 
It's nighttime. Let's cut across. Uh-oh, someone in the road. There's a killer on the road. Dibbity doobity doobity doo. Cults are dedicated to dark, dangerous deities like Lamashtu and Ugathoa are proscribed in many countries across Galarian. Over the church, etc. Uh oh. The Technic. Oh wow, the Technic League. Aren't you a little far from home? A group of well-armed fighters approaches. One of them raises their voice, pointing at you. Hey, you stop right there. Kalana, look at this one. Will he do? Uh oh, this could be trouble. <laughs> the group's leader says, lays her cold and watchful eyes upon you. This one, I suppose, but I don't like his snout. She studies her companions, carefully but nonchalantly, as, examining, as if examining goods at the market. Listen, you tramps. We're from the Technic League. Now, th these are uh, Numeria, right? The Technic League are a group of arcanists and other lawseekers obsessed, obsessed with unlocking the mysteries of the Silver Mount, an ancient alien artifact that crashed long ago near the Numerian capital city of Starfall. Though their indirect control over the nation's ruler, the Black Sovereign Kevath Kul, the Technic League, has also also has strong influence over the laws, policies, and economy of Numeria. All right. Uh, our slave died, and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. Choose now the one that you will give. Um. Oh, boy. I might have to... I'll make you put your own entrails, yeah. I am temp... I might have to reload. This looks like a really tough fight. Lindsay, I haven't ever been enslaved before. That would be new. Give me to them. Don't worry, nothing will happen to me. I'm too lucky for that. And then you can track them and set me free. What do you think of my plan? Your time is up. Let us avoid any needless complications. Which of you shall I take? Alright, I'm probably gonna have to reload. Um... Shit. Yeah, I figure it's obviously gonna be hard. Some poor walls. Um yeah, gonna have to reload here. Shit. Uh yeah, no guys with slavers. Big mistake. Yeah, probably. Shit. Alright, Lindsay. Oof, man. Uh, Harim, let's ah! here. Kalana. Repent. What's this? Destructive smite. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. This won't kill me. Okay. Oh, I cast a scorn fly. That's precisely why you should not have resisted the will of the Technic League. Now there's comedy. Hide your weapons. I shall take this carrion. No, I'm not gonna do that. I can withstand this. Let them take me. Come to my rescue. I don't. No, I don't want to do this. No, 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 no. All right. I just. I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to do this one yet. All right. Let's go. Let's load this game. Um, 
Right, so I that was a random encounter. I'm wondering if that always happens in that location, though, or if it can only happen in that location. Um, if so, I'm just going to give it a chance. Uh, I'm going to try to circumvent it. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll just... Try moving around here. I don't like that Technic League. Technic League, you're correct. I don't like them. Alright, so that's notorious. Alright, so let's cut across here. Uh oh. Alright, let's try to avoid them. All right, prepare for, prepare for prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. This better not be no Technic League again. Ah, cobbles. This is more my speed at this level. Tear them apart! <laughs> I won't even I won't even rage for this. Oh, school. nice. Yeah. yeah! Nice. Ooh, an Aggie. Go Aggies. Uh, okay. Nope. Good. Can we get out this way? Missing anything? Yeah, exploding by that's one of the things I loved about Baldur's Gate is the first time I saw that, so I was watching my friend play at his house. Watch him chunk a guy and I was like, oh, oh my god, this is the greatest game of all time. Alright, let's leave. Okay. Blackberry Meadow. Ah, oh, it's a kingdom resource. Okay, that's cool. Blackberries. Everybody loves blackberries. And. I'm hungry. When we stop. Hey, we're going to Oleg's trading post. Would you like to begin resting? No. Because we're almost at the trading post. Yeah. Wait, we need impressions, voices of various podcast <laughs> characters not played by you. Okay. Well, all of Matthews are easy. Hi, I'm one of Matthews' characters. Or, hi, I'm one of Matthews' other characters. Wait. Where's everybody? It do oh, they're all in the, the thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick up some new power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Listen, Liz. Well, since you dispatched the bandage with such skill, maybe you can help us with another problem. Look, dude, I'm so tired. Like, I've literally been on the road for three days straight, walking. I just reloaded to avoid the Technic League. I just want a bed. Well, there's a feral swine living here in the woods. Not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. Big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tuskutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Veckel Benzin found his lair and went to kill the beast. But he came back with one leg. Whose? He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like the only heroes around here are bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Amiri livens up. Hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? 
Wanna bet I can chop off this tusk cutter's snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, let's go to kill this Tuskata. Amira gives you a wide grin and slaps your shoulder. Right, that's the way I like it. Let's do it. Tuskata's lair has been revealed. Um, Orphas. Uh, how does Orphas talk? Hello, I am Orphas. I seek unlimited power. And uh, Colonel Luther says, Yes, I am Colonel Luther von Hildebrandt. I carry a dead person inside my box. There we go. Um, we have a vi Oh, Judd Kavkin. Very good. Bakken, you don't do anything, right? Um... Uh, yeah, show me your ways, bruv. Um, all right, let's sell the gun at ring. Oh, braces of armor. Okay, we'll hold on to those. Forgot about that. Topaz ring and a couple of them. Uh, uh, let's see. What did I want to do? Oh, let's get the whole thing. Um, I will right, sell the masterwork longsword. We don't need that anymore. Um, potion, scorch No, you want to hold on to that. Silver spoons. Uh, we'll sell the silver bell. We'll sell the silver inkwell. Both of them. Uh, artificial flower. Uh, yeah, I. Why does this cut off? I guess I can't read the end of that. Damn! Uh, I don't think we need this. Hematite, I don't think we need. Uh, silver earring, yes, let's go. The wedding ring. Oh yeah, I got the same. I got the same glitch as somebody else. I have two Amiris and <laughs> Okay, that's something we might want to address. Alright, sell that. Uh, Staglord's Wine. I'm going to hold on to that for the moment, even though it's super valuable. Silver Embroidered Purse. Lovely. Um, clear Quartz. Good. Ah, the Aggie. Goodbye. Fruits. Hold on to that for cooking. Let's go to Summon Monster. Uh, chocolate, hold on to that. Uh, don't need that mace, it's quite heavy. Um, pickles lover, let me play my way. Uh, ancient Cyclops coin. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, oh wait. Composite longbow. Somebody Somebody else need one? Somebody else need a composite longbow? I think that was Oh fine, Pickles Lover. If you're gonna be that way. Alright. Oh, well too late now. Um Alright, good. Alright, let's talk to Bakken. Uh, about those tasks of yours. Uh, okay, I guess I didn't do what he wanted to do. Alright, I'll go. Um, it is very late. Let's see if I can talk to someone. One of my old companions here. running around. Alright, let's talk to Harem. Can I talk to him? 
Harum pulls his beard, muttering something that could be either prayers or curses. Upon noticing you, he winces. Oh, what? Oh, it's you, Baldric Envoy. Uh, oh, did I start you? I'm sorry. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. I was just contemplating the futility of existence and the worthlessness of the universe. The ways of Grotus are great. My humble mortal mind cannot fully grasp them, but what? But I do what I can. Uh, tell me about your past. Life is divided into two parts. The first was filled with blind wandering, doubts, and attempts to serve Torag. The second part began when I accepted Grotus into my soul and received a clear vision of the world. What exactly would you like to know? Uh, where are you from? My life story begins in Larad, city of dwarven clerics and acolytes. They serve Toreg and the other dwarven gods, Toreg's brothers Angrad and Magrim, Toreg's life Fulgrit, his daughter Bolka, his sons Grundinar, Kols and Trud, and also Toreg's sister Drangvit. Harem curves his lips in contempt. Won't be surprised about a temple to Toreg's pet dog. Sorry, I let myself get carried away. Harem sighs and pulls his beard several times. Larad. Oh, that's right. I had a I had a character from Lared. But I had to scrap him because of okay, anyway. Uh Lared is the second largest dwarven city in the Five Kings Mountains. It's built up around numerous temple caverns that serve as places of worship for all the dwarven gods. Many pilgrims from the corner of Galarian come to Lared to pray to their gods. Some remain to live there. The city is simply imbued with faith. Can't swing a dead cat without hitting a cleric. It's no surprise, in spite of the awe of the city, I decided as a young boy to dedicate all my efforts to becoming a cleric of Torang. So, wait, wait, wait. So, you once tried to serve Torang? Not just tried, it was a burning passion. I craved it by day and dreamt of it at night. Harem shakes his head, as if amazed by his own stupidity. You see, Baldric Envoy, my first days, I felt. You, gotta use, you, gotta, you can call me Baldric! We're friends now, we've. But, You've channeled energy into me. I felt the presence of the god at my back. I heard his whispers and felt his power, but the nature of his power is unclear to me. I thought Toreg himself was trying to speak to me and did all I could to understand his words. What's up, Prank Five Tur? Oh, thank you, Blithering Wither, for the sub. I appreciate that. And JD Jumper, another sub. S subs for chugs. I don't know. Chugs, chugs for subs? Um. Oh, what a naive fool I was. I had no idea that Torag, that uncompromising, conceited god, glamorized by all the dwarves, was capable of betrayal. He turned away from me. Baldric. Baldric. He left me in the hour, and I put my hopes in him. Desperately needed his support. Torag is the god of craftsmanship, so every follower, especially the clerics, must smith their own suit of armor. The day when this work is finished is like the second birthday for a dwarf. It's like a bar mitzvah. He's nearly newly born in the eyes of Torag. Or baptism. Harem sighs heavily and falls silent for a time. My second birthday never came. I couldn't make armor, not even a sword, not even a simple nail. The hammer smashed my fingers and fell on my feet. Molten iron burned my hands. The clerics laughed as they healed me. They used to say I was cursed by Torag. So finally I gave up any attempts to please the betrayer god. Sounds like he's just a shitty work dude. <laughs> yeah, right, Mr. Phoenix. Um, uh, even if Torag really has rejected you, is that reason enough to leave your homeland? You don't know much about dwarves. Um, that's out a sad sigh. Uh, how can a dwarf cursed by Torag go on living in a city where every single soul bows to Torag? I was alone, disgraced, humiliated, insulted. A lone tear glints in the light before sliding down Harem's cheek and hiding in his beard. All right, let me get that. I was trying to drown my sorrows and drink. But even the owner of the cheapest pub on the road would laugh at me when he put those mugs in front of me. I couldn't take it any longer. I wanted everything to end. There was one thing that kept me going and prevented me from ending my life still hear that divine whisper behind my back. It was yet faint. It took a long time before I could hear it clearly. But having heard it once, I could never forget it. It was clear that none of Lorad's deities favoured me, so I left the Five Kings Mountains and went out searching. Uh, 
I didn't think that dwarves ever worshipped Grotius. How did you learn about him? Oh, but that blessed day came by the beginning of a new life. Alone and abandoned by all, I spent many dull hours in a filthy tavern by the roadside. I don't recall the town, nor even the country. I had no money. In fact, all I had was a hunk of stale bread. I was weary and almost fainting from hunger. And that was the moment when the whisper from my god became more clear. It was like he was calling me. At last my sufferings had come to an end. It was a miracle, Baldric Envoy. That's Baldric. Baldric. Just call me Baldric. Or Mr. Envoy, if it please you. And I'd paid full price for it with my torments. Oh, good night, uh, Amelia. <laughs> uh, I couldn't control myself. I walked out of the tavern and straight into the nearest forest. And there I found the ruined temple of Aridin, the lost god. Several figures clad in robes are holding a silent service there. A service to a god I knew nothing of. None minded when I stood beside them. For the first time in my life I felt myself at home. My new brothers told me they were clerics of Grotus, the god of end times. They were travelling around Galeria and spreading the teachings of Grotus, despite all the persecution, contempt and misjudgment they received from others. I gladly shared this burden with them. For now I knew whose voice had whispered through me all these years. So wait, so you couldn't even make a simple nail and you blame Torag? Are you suggesting that my problem is not a curse, just my own inability to work with metal? Or maybe you're saying I was just too lazy? Heron looks into your eyes defiantly, his hands trembling with suppressed rage as he runs his fingers over his beard. You're a fool if you think so, an ignorant fool. Have you ever met a dwarf who can handle a smith's hammer? Even our children craft knives. No, no, no. Toreg is the cause of my sufferings. The betrayer god deliberately cursed me just to make a laughing stock of me. Harem raises his hand and shakes his fist at someone above. Okay. But I won't let myself get angry at you, Baldrick Envoy. It's Baldrick! You're an ignorant and blind soul, and my aim is to guide you through this dying world that marches towards its end. I will open your eyes or die trying. Grotus will be pleased with their outcome. Alright. Let's talk about something else. Uh, there's a lot of conversation here. Um, but I have to know it all. I'd like to learn more about dwarves. Most dwarves are self-satisfied, stubborn fools serving Torang. They don't deserve my good attitude. Harem winces. You can ask what you want to know. I'll try to answer. Uh, tell me about the Five Kings Mountains. Ah, uh, the Dwarven Kingdom, yes. Well, it's to the south from here. Off here. Survive many trials and there'll be more yet to come. Harem strokes his beard, contemplating. There is no unity among the dwarves, Baldric Envoy. The Five Kings rule over our people. They sit on the thrones of the five greatest cities. With every passing day, it goes harder for them to come to any agreement. The only thing uniting the Five Kings Mountains is the Sky Citadel of Highhelm, the great dwarven fortress of the mountain's heart. Uh, I mean, I know all this. We know all this. But I want to see it anyway. Hear it. Oh, no. The dwarves always live on the surface. Oh, no. Eons ago, all dwarves lived deep beneath the surface and did rather well, judging by the historic records. They built fortresses befitting noble dwarves. But our restless god, Torag, sent us a prophecy, the quest for the sky. He, or was yeah. Yeah. he ordered all the dwarves to abandon their fortresses and press upwards to show their beards to the sun, as they say. Uh, is Eric bringing back Severus? I don't actually, I don't know. No, probably not. It's going to be a new character, I believe. This journey was long and bloody. Many dwarves perished on the way. Others turned back, keeping to their ancient strongholds, eventually to turn into evil Dwergar, Grey Dwarves. But those who survived reached the surface and founded the Sky Citadels, the most glorious cities in Dwarven history. Um, well, tell me about the Sky Citadels. Oh, they are the peaks of creation. Glorious cities built by the ancient Dwarves who'd finally reached the surface after many hardships, performing the final labor in their quest for the sky on the surface of Galarian. Harem's eyes glitter with admiration. They are steadfast, tall, magnificent. They are beautiful. Yes, but are they as beautiful as Valerie? I mean, be honest. The ten citadels were built by dwarves. We've managed to keep only a few. 
The citadels crumbled and the orcs, sworn enemies of our people, trampled their blessed streets and ruined the gorgeous palaces of the ancient kings. Harim's eyes grow misty with tears. You're crying a lot here, buddy. These were heavy losses and a disgrace to our people, Baldric Envoy. High Helm is the jewel of the citadels that remain. It is located in the heart of the mountains, in the heart of every dwarf. Yes, yes, my heart too. There is a dwarven saying that if an enemy reaches High Helm, every dwarf from all corners of the world would come to, def to defend it. Harem casts a sad glance at you. I'd be there too. But not to help the citadel's defenders. I'd be there to witness the fall of our people with my own eyes and mourn it. I would fall upon the cold stone and raise my final pair, prayer to Grotus. Uh, I've got some other questions. What else would you like me to tell you, Baldrick Envoy? Um, all right. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about your dog, Grotus. Your dog. <laughs> I told you about your dog, Grotus. I have a dog. There he is. Oh, he's a Shiba Inu. He's so cute. I want to pet him, but I can't. You still learn about Grotus? Harem seems surprised and pleased at the same time. Yes, of course. We'll answer to everything you ask. So, it, in a nutshell, and really a small, a small nut. Imagine a smaller nut, like a, a pistachio, perhaps. Uh, not like a walnut, but like you know, macadamia, but just like a very small nutshell. Uh, what are Grotus's teachings about? In said nutshell. Grotus is the end of all that exists. Harem smiles. He's obviously been waiting for this question. A look around, Baldrick Envoy. What do you see? Look again and realize that everything will be destroyed. Our clothing and our armor will turn to dust. The walls of the palaces will crumble into ruins. Trees will fall. And you and I will die much sooner than that. Grotus is a timeless watcher. He's locked... Been locked away by Phrasma, the goddess of rebirth. From her boneyard he watches over the world, knowing the time for the final reaping shall come. He's the bloated moon hanging in the sky. He's the harbinger of the last days. He's the one who will stay when all the others are gone. So, Phrasma, again, sorry, I'm not a theo theologian. Theologistics is, is seen. But Phrasma has Grotus locked in a boneyard, so she is stronger than Grotus. Of course she is stronger. For now. Harem nods with dignity, stroking his beard. Grotus is weaker than Phrasma, and many other gods. I would be a fool if I tried to claim otherwise. If Grotus was stronger, the end times would already have come, wouldn't they? But the powers of other gods fade away. They dissolve slowly, a grain in a century. Grotus collects those grains and waits. He doesn't need to hurry. He knows his time shall come. So usually clerics can speak with their gods. What does Grotus say to you? What is his will? Harem shakes his head in resignation. Grotus doesn't speak to his clerics. Actually, Grotus doesn't need any clerics. The dwarf raises his sad eyes to you. He only allows his whispers to be heard only by those who are dying to hear them. His words are unclear, but they call to you. His voice comes with the soft as with the soft rustle of fallen leaves, with the woeful wailing wind of the mountain pass, with the roar of the raging blizzard, and it calls you to strike out on the road. Onwards, always onwards, over the pass, over the bridge and further along, up ahead where the edge of a grey robe flashed, and a candle sputtered for the last time before dying. Onwards, always onwards, until your feet can no longer carry you. Harem falls silent, submerged in his own thoughts. Well, thanks for telling me about Grotus. I've learned enough for now. Then let me ask you what you think about Grotus. Um, I, lo I like your tales. Now, there's an inner truth to them. A broad smile spreads across Harem's face. I'm glad you think like that. We'll bring us truth to the whole world and to tell everyone that the end is inevitable. Yeah, fine. Um... But have you ever regretted your decision to abandon Toreg and start worshipping Grotus instead? Your question might seem offensive, Baldrick Envoy. Well, it's no more offensive than using my full fucking name every time I talk to you. But I am not offended. I will let you ask it because you wish to learn more about Grotus. Harm squeezes his beard and his fists, but in a moment he lets it free again. Toreg betrayed me, Baldrick Envoy. 
All he's ever done is look down with contempt on my futile efforts to please him. I crafted armor plates, but they fell apart with a single strike of a fist. I smithed swords, but they broke at the hilt. Torag's priests used to say that such failures are the curse of their uncompromising deity. Harum's fingers grab his beard with such force it seems he'll tear a handful of hair out of it. It was Grotus who opened my eyes. Yeah, we've kind of been over this. You know, and this is actually something that's been true. A carryover from Baldur's Gate was that, like, th there's not. it would be nice if you had, like, a feel for a first name and a last name. And, like, your companions would call you by your first name. But there's only a feel for, like, one full name. That is, seems like a simple fix that you could apply. It's, I don't know. It's always kind of, like, why does everyone, anyway. Um, uh, he showed me this failure as a manifestation of his will. The end time is near, Baldric Envoy. And every failure is just another step towards it. Torag's curse is only... Thank you, Mr. Phoenix. There's only half the reason for my failure. The other half is the blessing of Grotus, which I've borne from early childhood. Harem smiles warmly at his thoughts. So the short answer to your question is no. I've never regretted opening my soul to Grotus. Uh, now, listen, and don't get, uh, I don't mean to offend. Again, I am only seeking information about your strange psychotic god but what from what i've heard grotus doesn't spare the minds of his clerics i mean they all go insane eventually is that true please tell me it isn't because they're going to be on the road together for a long time unless one of us dies ha who told you that i'd like to look at that slander in the eye harem burst into laughter but you can't understand what's so funny maybe it's because he's insane you see baldrick envoy Sanity is quite a relative concept, Harem says as his laughter recedes. Each of us is certain that he's the sanest creature in the world. Meanwhile, we periodically doubt the sanity of others. So what happens if two or three people claim that someone else is insane? Does that make it true? Perhaps the accusers have lost their minds themselves. <laughs> yeah, see, the way <laughs> Right? Nobody? I'm going to start worshipping Grotus. Uh, the longer a cleric listens to the whispers of Grotus, the better he comprehends the essence of his designs and the deeper his understanding becomes. When enlightenment comes, the mind of a cleric ascends to a new level of understanding, which is inaccessible to simpler souls. Is it insanity? It is for you to decide, Baldrick Envoy. My decision was made long ago. When I reach enlightenment, I'll accept it with joy and delight. Um... Oh boy. <laughs> Evil. Uh, I am chaotic. I'm chaotic. Kind of good. I'm going to go with a chaotic neutral. I, I hate to be cruel to poor Harem. He suffered enough. But ha. Well, when you learned Glotus' divine plans, remember to tell me about them. I could use a good laugh. Harem seems not to hear the irony in your words. Oh, of course I will tell you. I will tell everyone. The word of Grotus will lead us forward into the inevitable. Uh... Right, well, thank you for the conversation. Uh, we will talk later. Uh, or never. Harem nods with dignity. I'll be happy to continue our conversation later. Sleep is a four round casting. Hmm. Um, right. Let's go ahead and save here. <laughs> Adventures can wait. I know, you're so tired, Baldur. Who's it? Oh, Judd Kafkin. What's up, buddy? I serve you. Uh, well, um, yeah, tell me about the visions that led you to the Temple of the Oak. How about? That's why I'm here. Good. Um, so, what do you want from me? Find the Temple of the Elk. I've pieced together its location from what I can remember of my visions. I have a rough idea of where to look for the <coughs> sanctuary, somewhere in the North Nile marshes. However, I don't possess the strength to walk this path myself. Do not reject my plea, good traveler, and I'll repay you as best I can. 
In these dark times, people rarely help each other without compensation. May Arastu forgive us all. But I am sure my healing abilities will be useful to you. Cool. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's talk to our good friend Amiri. We're gonna talk. Amiri utters a weary sigh. Ugh. All right, spell it. I'm listening. Uh, yeah, no. You mentioned back there about wanting to kill that pig. Uh, why do you want to kill this Tuscator so much? He's a monster. We kill monsters. What's here so difficult? Call to understand. So he's coming your first language. Um, no. All right. Thanks for talking with me. We'll speak again later. Talking, talking. Why don't we do some monster killing instead? Amiri sighs and turns away. Ugh. All right. All right. I think we've basically probably is that. Let's just. I do what I must. Uh, let's see if there's anything new here with Valerie. I love I love Amiri. She's dope. Um Alright, Valerie so Valerie nods you cordially. Glad to see you. Yeah. Um Well this is awkward. I, I don't have anything new to say. Um Well, this was great. I'll talk to you later. Bye and I run away like a cowardly fool. That was super awkward. Uh, we should rest. Everyone's very tired. Oh, she's still here. Can we talk to... Oh, we weren't able to talk to Lindsay before. Affling girl with two shield hair wearing a... Actually, I'm going to get another drink. Uh, I will be back shortly. Um... If you guys have any questions or anything, think of them now as I get this, and uh, I'll maybe answer some. Hold on. Uh, let's see all the dozens of questions that have piled up while I... Uh, when will Matthew play Dream Daddy? I, Matthew doesn't play video games. Well, he does, but he will never... He's so confused by... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Always a Cleric. Yeah, I. it was good, right? I, we... That is one of that was one of my favorite episodes to record uh, that we've done. Uh, it was it was great. I just probably can't talk about it too much to spoil anything, but yeah, it was that was a very fun experience. By the way, again, like this week is gonna be great. So you know, twitching tonight, obviously tomorrow night, again twitching with Grant and Ellie at, from the studio. This is our first time twitching a video game from the studio. Hopefully it works out. Uh, plan is to Twitch Marvel Spider-Man, the new PlayStation exclusive game. Should be really fun. Ah, the Prank Fighter. My favorite pen and paper RP outside of Pathfinder, Starfinder. 
You know what I really, there's a bunch that I love. I love, um, I'm a huge Traveler fan. Like I've talked about that a lot. I've played, that was one of the first games I played, uh, even like right after I started playing D and D. Uh, I love like a bunch of the Palladium games. I love like Rifts. Uh, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. I love Robotech. Beyond the Supernatural I loved. Uh, the Ghostbusters RPG I loved. Um, I love the, uh, there was a game I th- that I think also was put up by West End called Price of Freedom, which was kind of like Red Dawn, the RPG. And that was a blast. That was so fun. Also, you're like guerrilla warriors, like uh, in the Soviet occupied America. That was really like goofy and fun. Um, but I think my favorite, the, the one that I would love to play, that I would love to do a show of, is top secret i'd love to do a top secret like espionage like a gritty tom clancy style espionage secret agent role-playing game that would be super super fun uh did i ever play warhammer fantasy roleplay no i owned the book and i loved it it was so cool i loved that there were were like a hundred classes to choose from the art was great i love warhammer obviously the universe but i never no one else I knew had any interest in playing it. Um, yeah, Ghostbusters was really fun. Uh, yeah, not Valka. I do. It's Sarlax. I love that movie, Top Secret. That's actually I saw. I recently watched again the Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story, the uh, John C. Riley movie, and. I saw it with a bunch of my friends, and as soon as we walked out, it was just like, that was like Top Secret. That really made me think of Top Secret. Uh, is it going to be a GCP Live in New York? I don't, we don't have, we don't have any GCP Live scheduled yet after this one. So, prop, we will do, we'll, we'll, that'll probably be an annual thing, so it'll probably be next year. Have I played, yeah, love Warhammer. Uh, I have never played Paranoia, but I've read a bunch of the adventures because they also they always like uh, publish them in like dragon magazine um so i'm familiar with the universe but for some reason it just like it, you know it was it was fun and funny this like this dystopic kind of so- society like ruled by a computer very funny but like it just for some reason it just didn't appeal to me actually playing in it oh judge dread that was another game that i loved an rpg that i loved um yeah, walk hard is. Yeah, I love walk hard. Uh, anyway, back to the game. Have you ever been in a, no? <laughs> uh, I t- I told you I told that story my my midnight express story on the podcast. Uh, Halfling girl with two suit hair wearing a dusty traveler's outfit sits chewing on the tip of a quilt. Uh, that's ten gold pieces, I think, or five. Just a moment. How should I put this? Oh, I know. She scribbled something quickly in a notebook scrawled with verse. Raises her eyes and gives you a bright smile. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, tell me about yourself. As I prepare myself for a barrage of nonsense. Oh, what do you want to know? Uh, well, where are you from? I'm from all over. Ha ha ha. That's not an answer. I was actually born in Galt. Such a tiny village that it's not even on the maps. If it weren't for my teacher, I'd still be living there. Milking goats, weeding turnips, swilling homebrew. Have oh, I played some homebrew. Having babies and using books only as kindling. The teacher, so who's your teacher? Oh, he's a true saint. He was once an important person in the capital at the Church of Shalin. But he got in trouble with the authorities and went on a self-imposed exile to the tiniest, most godforsaken, point priestless, <laughs> priestless village he could find the one where I was born. He wanted to open a school, but the villagers wouldn't let him. You can heal us all you like, but no putting any ideas into our children's heads. It'll only distract them from their work. But he did teach me on the sly. He taught me how to read, how to write, and he gave me books, poems, legends. He was the one who told me about the Arch Knights of Avistan. And when I told him I was going on a journey, he gave me a magic ring so that Shailen would protect me from harm. That ring is pretty badass. She has a ring, apparently, that when she goes below zero hit points, it teleports, I guess, probably back here to a safe place. Uh, I want one, personally, in real life. Uh, okay. 
Hmm, I haven't seen him since I ran away from home. I hope he's all right. I ask Shilin every day to grant him a long life and new students. Uh, Archknights of Aviston. I don't actually know them. Uh, no, I never did play fantasy roleplay. That, the what, Palladium fantasy roleplay, there was some appealing stuff about that too because there was a ton of different like races that didn't, weren't options like monstrous races that you couldn't have in D and D at the time. So that was cool. But I just never, I, I was just like, so like D and D for fantasy. Like I was just so D and D focused that I never, um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, the Reddit. Oh, Oh, if you're asking me, <laughs> I avoid the Reddit at all costs. Uh, Arch Knights of Everstem, who are they? Oh, you haven't heard of them? How you can be a hero without knowing one... How can you be a hero without knowing one of the most epic stories in the history of stories? They... <laughs> no, 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 I won't spoil anything. You should just read about them yourself. Every single chapter. Oh my god, she sounds like a Wheel of Time fan. Their adventures what gave me the idea of going on a heroic quest and writing about it to begin with. And now, look at me! Here I am on a heroic quest! Fine. Um, how did you become a bard? Well, when I realized there was nothing for me at home besides more radish patches, I decided to run away. A traveling book peddler, Tessie the Quill, happened across our village. Well, I stuck to her like a burr and wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere, to Bravoy and Taldor and even Ustalov. And then I found out about the Academy of Grand Arts in Pitax, and I thought, well, I love reading stories, so I can surely learn to write them too. I enrolled in my first try, and they even gave me a scholarship. They expelled me, <laughs> but that's okay. They'd already taught me all the important stuff, and now with Shelin's help, I can manage on my own. Okay. Uh, do you, oh, let me guess, you worship Shelin. Yes, not to offend the other gods, but she's the most important of them all. All the other gods guard the world as it is, but only the Eternal Rose, the goddess of beauty, calls us to the world as it should be. Yeah, why are you close so messy? <laughs> why am I negging her? Lindsay waves her hand carelessly. Oh, forget it. I can't waste money on looks. I'd rather buy books instead. Books, not looks. Am I right? In a hundred years, when people are reading my works, they aren't going to ask whether the author had holes in her sleeves. Yeah, no, that is not a question they'll be asking when they read your books. Uh, let me ask you about something else. Of course, please ask. I'd be happy to chat all day. You're joking. You come from Pitax, right? Tell me about it. Oh, I love Pitax, even though they kicked me out. A joyful place. What is life in Pitax like? Actually, Pitax has always been one huge nest of thieves. Bandits, river pirates, scoundrels, smugglers, fences... I was, I was feces for a second. Card sharps. It's always been home for the likes of them. A wretched hive of scum and villainy, as my teacher used to call it. You must be cautious, he'd say. But that was before I Irovetti became king. With him, a whole different life began there. Uh, Ivoretti always wanted to make history, but not as another bandit with a crown, though that's exactly what he is. <laughs> he wanted to be glorified through the centuries as a great patron of the arts, so he built the Academy of Grand Arts and spent lots of gold to assemble the best artists, poets, and musicians. Of course, the very best ones refused to go, but he got what he wanted in the way. If Pitax was once just a booze barn for thieves, now it's a cabaret. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Super fun. A story you want to share? Uh, email it to us, uh, Phoenix. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, what do you know of King Irovetti? 
He won his crown in a game of cards, which says as much about Pitax as it does about him. He's fiendishly clever. Some cheats I know told him that what, the moment he appeared, he started pulling off such schemes the old city masters just scratched their heads. With him in charge, gold flooded into Pitax, and he's also... He's incredibly, unimaginably, fantastically <coughs> decadent and conceited. Getting drunk with whores. Uh, hey there, Lindsay. That's not how we operate in this group. At the pub. That's not Lord Ayurvedi style. Oh, no. He aims higher, dressing up like a male Calistria with a golden codpiece and holding a three-week orgy and dancing on the rooftops, parades, public executions, and a contest for the best ode to the great unrivaled king. That's more like it. He also likes singing. Ugh. And he orders his gods to make the citizens gather for his shows. May Shailin have mercy on his listeners. Uh, tell me about the academy you studied at. You know, jokes aside, I'm thankful to Iravetti for building it. But he has no taste at all, whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, grandiose, and most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He kicked out the best charcoal artist because he didn't wish to spend money on gray scribbles. He sacked a masterful flute player from Tian Sha for playing too quietly and instead order them to open a kettle trump class. And he even ordered the academy to expel me. And for what? An innocent limerick. <laughs> there once was a man from Nantasky. Uh, sorry. Uh, would you like to go back to the academy and finish your studies? Like, right now? I'd like to return, but on one condition. If they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now and return all the ones they banished. If you ask me, I'm proud to have been expelled. If my art was to Iravetti's liking, then I would have had reason to be ashamed. Oh, no, I, I do like Way of Kings, but I won't fight you. Uh, I will fight everyone. Uh, but. <laughs> huh? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, one second. I think there was a typo there at the man inside. <laughs> I got your your comment got got held up. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um all right. <clears throat> Uh, as as long as mediocre lickspittles sit at the academy and those with real talent beg on the streets of Pitax and will not cross the threshold of that place. Let me ask you about something else. Of course, please ask. I'd be happy to chat all day. Um, I don't know if I want to go through all this. All right, what's the deal with the ring you always wear on your... Yeah, what's the deal with that ring you always wear on your finger? Ah, this. Lindsay, hold your arm for you to get a clear view of the ring. It was a gift to me on my birthday present. It was a gift to me for my first for my first teacher. It's magical, imbued by the powers of Shaylin, no less. When I get myself in trouble, it transports me to a safe spot. What's up, Wari? There's my buddy. Call out of space. Uh, this is funny. I think it's funny. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, um, <laughs> leave and do not return. Um. All right, tell me about the book you're writing. <laughs> what is there to tell? You've seen some of my rough drafts already, haven't you? It's a book about you and your adventures. I am writing the whole truth, just as it happened. Well, the whole artistic truth, you know. No glory, no story. Yeah, but why are you writing it? Like, what's the point? When I was at the Academy, Eobald the Insightful began his literature course with the question, what is a person? And he answered, a person is a storytelling animal. Hmm. Our world does not consist of things. All these woods, seas, and cities, it consists of stories about those things. The stories we tell to ourselves and each other. Just think about it. Centuries will pass and there will be no me and no you. Oh, you should talk to Harem. All your subjects will be long gone, but you will live on in people's memories and influence their deeds thanks to this very book. Uh, uh, so what kind of a character am I? Truth be told, I was a little afraid of meeting a real hero. In books, they're all protectors of the weak and poor, but what about in real life? 
but you eased all my fears with two shakes of a tail. You're a true hero, just like in Legends. My new fear is that in a hundred years, my readers will say that people like you never existed, but I'm writing the truth. All right. You are like a force of nature, wild and unpredictable. You're full of surprises. I doubt I could make up a protagonist like you, even if I tried very hard. Yeah, well, that's sort of not what I'm like. Uh, how do you feel about me reading your work in progress? I mean, can I sign off on it before you like, publish it? Well, these are only drafts, but of course you're welcome to read them. Just keep in mind that even if I don't like, you don't like what I write about, I won't change a single letter, so don't even ask. Yeah, well, I just did, but fair enough. Of course, it's a book about you, but it is my book. Understood? The small writer's eyes glow rebelliously. Uh, what is the chaotic good? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do that. No, write, write whatever you wish. I've, I, I doubt you would defame me, or for that matter, overpraise. Thank you for your trust. I will set out. To, I will not set out to please you, of course, but I still hope that you'll like my book as much as my other readers. Uh, all right, so uh, I gotta go. Just don't leave without me. Oh wait, that might be a quest line, the Tessie the Quill thing. I'll ask her about that. Just don't leave without me. Of course, I could just write about whatever you tell me, but if I wanted to stay cooped up in a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through lectures at the academy. All right, sorry. Yeah, one more thing. Um, tell me about your friendship with Tessie the Quill. Oh, what's there to say? My books were my urge to travel, but it was only thanks to Tessie that I managed to really get out of my village. Oh, that was worth it. All right, I've got to go. Bye. Just tell me that a little while. Okay. All right, so we've got some magic weapons now. Uh, some that I missed the first time when I got them, so that's good. Um, hi, kitty. Oh, look at that little stubby little cat. All right, let's go to sleep. Let's see if I have another terrible dream. Nope, I'm good. Meow. Meow. Get this cat out of here. <laughs> Have I tried Gloomhaven? No, I actually tried to buy it uh, when I was back at the Wizard's Chest in Denver, but they were out. My hope is... Oh, I gotta talk to Svetlana. Uh, my hope is to... We get our hands on a copy, and what I would like to do, once we're done with the playtest and everything, uh, we want to start streaming more board games. And uh, if we want to get the like, camera set up for it and everything... So that is one of the first ones that I'd like to do is Gloomhaven. Uh, so hopefully we get to do that. Um, right, Svetlana. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I use your ring, Svetlana. Crystal gave it to me. I even managed to convince her not to fight me. Svetlana sighs bitterly. <sighs> so, is that a bitter sigh? I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Cressel wasn't a real name. Her real name was Irena before all this. She was a daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that's happened to her is my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets, hanging out with a bad crowd until the day she passed. Mother complained about Irena constantly. Back then it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Restov. Her father didn't live much longer than her mother, so I decided to try to help Irena. I brought her here, to the Stolen Lands, though Oleg was against it. And once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumours from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how she was a real leader, unlike the rest of softies. Eventually, she ran away, only to pursue return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stag Lord's minions. I don't know. Is there any, any way to set her back on the right path? But I'm grateful for your, for your kindness. Perhaps there's still hope for the sake of my mother's memory. I'd like to believe that. Uh, cool. All right, so we got 45 XP. Yeah, it was more exasperated. What a bitter size sounds like. Uh, I've got to go. I've got to go. Farewell. Fairly well. All right, so let's cross that task off the list. Uh, 
Oleg. I think I'm going to go after that pig. Um, yeah, I should be another time. Uh, I'm going to go after Tusk Gutter. Kingdom Death, I don't know. I don't know that one. Yeah, I really want to play... I really want to play Gloomhaven and Twilight Imperium. Those are the two on my list. The pig is hard. All right. So I shouldn't go after the pig yet. Let's see. What else have we got on the list here? Uh, prove you what? Oh, that's a that's a companion quest. Should I go to the Temple of the Elk? Like what? What's the? Uh oh, I don't want to get the fangberry because the spider. I hear that there's swarms in the spider cave, and I don't have the means of really dealing with them yet. Well, I guess he could. I guess Harem could channel negative. I can take the pig. Oh, torches kill swarms. Alchemist fire. Alright, that's a good idea. What are you drinking there, buddy? I just took a swig of something. Alright, let me buy. Let me buy some Alchemist fire if you've got some. Show me your wares, Oleg. Uh, let's see. I have Alchemist fire. I want more, though. Um, all items, accessories, armor and shields. Usable, usable. Oh, let's reach a metamagic rod. That's that's pretty sweet. How much cash do I have? I've got a, lot, I've got a good bit of cash. Um, yeah. 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 No. All right. Um, right, let's go to the inventory. And let's see, All right, let's go. Let's get a torch there. And a Miri. Let's give you a torch. Um, uh, acid flask. Oh, that should probably work, right? Is that alchemist fire? Yes, it is. I actually do have a lot of it. Uh, I'll give her one. Lindsay, you can have one. Okay. I have two Amiris. Luckily, they're identical. <laughs> um. 15 alchemist fire? Oh boy. Oh boy. Huh. Takes from chaos. A large person. Oh, she has one already, right? Um. Alright, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the pig. I'm gonna try to go after the pig. funny I just downloaded an update too they just released another update and uh, that seems like a pretty obvious bug that was apparently not addressed mm. alright brew boy oh right okay I think I've heard about this uh, uh, yeah I'll leave I'll take both Amiris. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. I like Amiri. I like her quite a bit. Um... 
Right. Where is... Oh. A noble patriarch of the tree world. The old sycamore can be seen for miles around. No other sycamore in the area is going as high, and the reason this one in particular is to resist enormous hides remains a mystery to the locals. Um... Where's the pig? Where's the pig at? Oh, way over there. What's it, Nettles Crossing? Oh, there's something weird there. Uh, soggy remnants of a once well-built bridge crossing the Shrike River. The fate of the crossing and its creator, an engineer named Davik Nettles. It's one of the dark secrets of the Stolen Lands. One day the bridge was found destroyed and Davik has gone missing under mysterious circumstances. Um, good night, Pontfire Queen. Uh, all right, let's just head south. Oh, yep, we will fight you. Fight! Whoa. Oh, bandit. What? I was going to get the Anki or something. Serves you right. Ends here. All right. Uh, Amiri. Didn't I tell you to have this ability in your hot bar? Wait, what are you doing? There you go. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh no! What the? What the fuck? <laughs> oh man! Oh no! Oh shit! Was not really paying attention. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I just, sorry, my mind was wandering. Okay. In due time. Uh, all right, let's have serves you right, Lindsay. I want you getting up close and deadly. does that happen? Stay in there. Okay. Tear them apart! Lindsay, I want you to sing. What is that thing? Bandit Claire oh a cleric. Virtual Valerie. Let us strike as one. All right, let's see if we're coming up here. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, wow. Did he sneak up on us? That's messed up, buddy. This will hurt. You deserved it. All right, uh, Amiri. They go down! <gasps> oh, that was quick. Wow. 
Oh, there's two. Okay. Easy. Move that, one, please. <laughs> She's awesome. Ball. Uh, can you charge? I don't think you can. Wait a minute. Okay, so this has never worked once. The charge has never worked. So my. Do I? Is it a right click? Do I right click or left click? Okay. Me. <laughs> so fragile. Uh, Lindsay, my pet. Go ahead and cure light wounds on yourself. <laughs> Whew, man, that's tough. Combat is over. Uh, composite longbow. Okay, those are valuable. So I'll take that. I'll take that. It's time to act. Yep, I'll take that as well. We should move. Okay. Uh, short sword, long sword, and crap, crap, crap. Oh, breastplate. Breastplate. I think that might be useful. Uh, all right, let's check the old. No, not that. Let's check the inventory. Um, all right, so we've got the. Oh no, we've got banded mail. All right, but it's still uh, sort of valuable, so we'll take that. Right, ready, ready. Um. I'm just gonna grind for a bit. <laughs> uh, let's do a couple channels. And. I wrote it like a anything don't think so uh, we'll go for another 15 minutes about T-shirts of it. <laughs> I, I have, yes, I do. Actually, hold on one sec. I might have it with me. Hold on. Okay, I do actually have one of the new t-shirts and let me show you. This is mine. There we go. So uh, those should be people should be getting those really, really soon.
turned out great. Um, very, very happy with him. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's... Uh -huh. Tusk Cutters, that's so far, bro. Uh, let's check out Nettles Crossing. Yes, we went to the location. Next shipment of battle caps, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't handle. I don't know if the big ship shipment stuff. The big shipments, like the shirts, like I help with that. But that stuff, that's uh, that's Joe and Matthew's department. I, 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 I honestly. But yeah. um, in due time, in due time, All right, what's this? Small house burnt down a dozen years ago. What? Where'd my? Where's my mouse? Oh. Ha! Perception check succeeded. DC 25. Wow! Well, the Natty 20. Huh? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I failed. But I'm sorry. Try again. DC 27. You can do it, though. We just have to keep trying. No, not you. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Oh, it won't let you try again. Oh, that stinks. You can't take 20? Man. Don't show me some cool thing and then say I can't do it. I'm there. Damn it, Lindsay. Lindsay. Alright, so there's a bridge. It appears these posts once held a rope bridge. I do what I must. Yeah, that was an option in Baldur's Gate, is you could smash open a chest if you couldn't pick the lock. But I don't know if that's I'm true off. for this. Um I want that thing! I want it! Yeah, I think that was the original rule. But that but that ain't Pathfinder, bro. That ain't Pathfinder abrasive. My skills are absolute. I hate that voice. Uh new characters, menu. Stop. So these used to be just an attack button, and you would hit attack and put it on the chest or whatever you wanted to open. Go further east down to the stream. All right, cool. Try again after leveling up. Okay. Try to remember. Oh, oh, God. Davig Nettle. Oh, it's the guy I saw in my dream. The corpse's face is bloated from being so long in the water. The stench from its toothless mouth is so foul that your eyes begin to water. The hand clenching a sinister-looking spear is covered with scabs. Suddenly you feel faint, as if a cold, wet hand is placed heavy on top of your head. Wet hair sticks to skin and trickles of icy cold water run down your face and shirt. A hoarse whisperer rises inside your head. There you are. Uh, so it was you who sent me those nightmares. That gurgling, deep-chested laughter pierces your skull, clouding your vision and flooding your ears. All else becomes muffled, as if you were trapped under water. You shake your hand, head, cast off the apparition. Who are you? 
Eric Nettle. A storm of blight, bright images flashes before your eyes. A long time ago, this person, then a living man, came from Bravoy, constructed a rope bridge, built a house, and lived in it, recollecting, collecting payment from those who crossed the river. How did you die? You see a vision of a lovely spring day. Sunbeams shine warm against your cheeks. Three men approach the house by the bridge. One of them wearing an antlered helm. The stag lord. Angry faces, a quarrel, the glint of an unsheathed sword. Suddenly the stag lord's greedy eyes are twisted by surprise. The master of the house has unleashed his hounds. A burning smell stirs you awake to the sound of loud barking. Flames are crawling up the walls. The sound of breaking glass, the bitter night cold, cold night air. You are outside, outside the house, and something is wrong. An arrow strikes deep in your shoulder. You can hear the guffaw, guffaw of ten throats. You run already in the middle of the bridge. The man in the antlered helm cuts one of the ropes. An ear-splitting scream fills the air. What do you want from me? You see a vision of a man wearing an antlered helm. You hear a muffled groan and the helm drops to the ground with a loud thud. Your hands are covered with hot blood. Too much blood. Don't you hate it when someone asks you to do something you were going to do anyway? It makes you want to do nothing, just to spite them. Uh, why must I be the one who does it? You feel invisible fingers, cold as stone, draw aside a wet strand of hair from your forehead. Yeah, yeah, no, don't do that. Um, can't you kill the stag lord yourself? You see the stag lord and his cutthroats trying to build a new bridge here, then running madly away from the rotting monster. The stag lord has avoided this place ever since. Uh, well, very well. I shall meet your vengeance upon the stag lord. The drowned man has been sitting motionless and nods his head. Come later. Take the spear. I'm there. Cool. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. <laughs> Answer me these questions three. I haven't seen... Holy Grail in a really long time. I've watched Life of Brian many, many times recently, but I haven't seen Holy Grail in forever. I was just thinking about it the other day. Um, you see that? Aha! What kind of perception check was that? DC 6. Amiri, you got it, girlfriend. And it is an ancient Rustlandic coin. A memento of times long past. A well-grounded antiquities collector might pay handsomely for it. Or might not. A moose wants to be to my sister. Um. Okay, awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's let's set up this old sycamore. I just don't want to run into those stupid technically slavers again. Not till I level up a couple of more times. Yes. Oh, actually, hold on. Saved and enter. Hey, baby, baby Bodum. Bits for sips. Thank you. Nice to coin. Oh, by the way, there is. We just approved. Actually, I don't know if we finalized which one, which design we're gonna go with. Greetings. Oh, uh, sorry. We just, we just, uh, we're, we haven't finalized the, the exact design we're going with. But there's a really cool Nestor coin shirt coming out soon. It's so awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Kasten Garris. The former captain of Germandi Aldori's personal guards. I ran into him when the place was on fire. Nods to you as though you'd seen each other in Restov only yesterday. He limps noticeably, and his clothes are stained with blood, and looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met. But this time you also sense a hint of excitement in his eyes. Hmm. Okay. I have urgent news from Restov. The investigation that I've conducted at Lady Germandi's orders have proved your innocence. 
Cartuccio was and still is the Pataxian spy. That dreadful night, it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. It appears that he had I told you. the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Yerovedi is no stranger to injury and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Anyway, Lady Jamande sends her apologies. Uh, I do not accept. Too little, too late. I told you the truth, and there was every reason to believe me, and no reason to believe the treacherous gnome, and you believed both of us and neither of us, so... You turned the whole thing into a political farce, and I don't appreciate that. Lady Jamande ordered me to capture Cartuccio. We were following his trail when that damned mist fell. First, we entirely lost our way, and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. Alas, nearly all my people were wounded and can Thank go you, no further. And so I'm here asking for your aid. I'll point out on the map where Tartuccio is supposed to be. Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. Restop will not forget this favor. All right, this seems important. Uh, no, there's a new there's a new Nestor shirt. There's a new Nestor shirt coming up. Really cool. Um, so when you get with the experience, is that? I don't know how the game does it. I don't know if that's per character or if that's split by the party. I don't know how they do that. Um, how did Tartuccio manage to fool you? That sly bastard has caused us no little trouble, that's for sure. When he showed up in Restoff and announced he was going to join the expedition, nobody suspected a thing. Yes, a gnome. Yes, a sorcerer. But so what? Even after that terrible night, some of my people were willing to bet money on you being this Ridiculous. Your people are stupid. Dustin Alexander. Uh, I met Wesley Willis. I met Wesley Willis one night. You just did a Wesley Willis reference. Uh, I hung out with him one night, and it was really, really weird. But he was really nice. And he kept... Wesley Willis, for people who don't know, was a schizophrenic rapper. I highly recommend checking out some of his stuff uh, on YouTube. Uh, every, it's repetitive, but it's amazing. Um, but yeah, I was at a party one night, and he came after a, after a gig, and I bought his CD like from him. He had like a bag of his CDs like hanging around his neck. And he said, you want to buy one of my CDs? Buy my CDs. And I was like, yeah, sure. And like he gave me one. And uh, he talked to him and said, my demons, my demons give me trouble today. My demons are all over me. My demons, they won't stop talking to me. And I was just like, I was like, yeah, man, that's cool. It's like, so where are you from? He's like, I'm from Chicago, Chicago. I was like, oh, I've been to Chicago. My cousins live in Orland Park. He's like, oh, Orland Park? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know that place. And then all of a sudden, like, he became, like, we had, like, a normal conversation for, like, five minutes. It was really awesome. Anyway, super nice guy. Now he's dead. Um... His overconfidence was his downfall. Tartuccio's henchmen, it seems, imagined they could safely meet with the taxi and spies in the town's seedy underbelly. But Restoff is the ancestral home of the Eldori, and Lady Jamandi is respected not only by the aristocracy and the common folk, but also by those on the other side of the law. We received a message from the slums. A good friend, who wished to remain anonymous, suggested the swordlords take a closer look at a certain really from friend. the tax. Jamande immediately sent for me and ordered me to capture the spy, all very quietly, of course. He told us everything, and not only about Tartuccio. I doubt that Irovetti was pleased to hear of his agent's failure. <laughs> a nasty grin crosses Kessler's face. Um, what can Pataxian spies hope to find in the stolen lens? Pataxian spies are much like magpies. They'll grab anything that catches their eye. Information, treasure, artifacts. This time, King Yerovedi had a chance to seize the entire stolen lands region, and at the Aldori's expense. I'll give you some advice for the future. Be wary of the Pataxian king. He's truly a snake of a man.
Alright, sorry about that. I think this is a Twitch issue. It's not my own internet. Um, Alright, so I'm going to finish this conversation. Uh, Garris is never a noble house in Bravoy, is it not? You're a noble then. Used to be. It's only a name now, nothing more. The House Garess are a noble family in Brevoy. They own several mines in the Galushkin Mountains. My father Evan is cousin to Lord Howland Garess. But he's my father no longer. What? I, I totally lost track of what you were saying. Uh... In any case, I brought shame upon my name and was punished accordingly. The family disowned me. I fled to Restoff and took up the life of a simple mercenary. Until I received an assignment here in the Stolen Land. Uh, care to tell me why you were exiled? You've asked me a favor. I'd say you owe me an explanation. Uh, no. I'd like to know more of House Caress in your home. I don't really, but... Well, then, ask away. Uh, oh, God. I tell you, I House Caress owns a number of valleys and gorges in the Galushkin Mountains. The landscape makes these places easily defensible, and they're rich in ores and everything else the depths of the earth have to offer. It is a place of rare beauty. <sighs> When I moved to rest See, there's a sigh. There's, there's, there's so much time. sighing in this game. There was nothing but sky between the roofs. No mountain peaks anywhere in sight. Hey, I, it's funny, like, certain writers have certain kind of tics like that that they they fall back on. I do shrugs. I'm always, my characters are always shrugging. This, they're, they're big on size. Uh, tell me of House Garess. It is an old and renowned family. One of the most influential in Brevor. A long time ago, the Gares House entered a pact with the Dwarven clan of Volka. This proved to be of great benefit to both parties, and they've supplied the ore for our forges ever since. Lord Howlin even took the son of the Dwarven leader as his ward. Who would have known where this would lead? I didn't know. The same winter that Brevor lost the Regarvia dynasty, Howlin's only natural son, Bren, went missing in the mountains. Thus, Toval Golka, the Lord's Dwarven ward, became heir to House Garess. The lad has it tough, though. Too many believed Howland should have chosen someone of his own blood to be the heir. I would imagine my own father had similar plans for me, but we all know how that went. Wow. I'm literally l absorbing none of this. And it is raining, in fairness. Uh, let's, let's finish this conversation some other time. As you wish. Uh, I'll see you later. Farewell. Uh, all right, deliver Tartuccio. All right. Uh, all right, I'm just going to check out the rest of this little area here. Oh, there's a s an elk. I want to talk. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I didn't want to kill it. Oh, sh oh, wow. These are really aggressive elk. Jesus. <laughs> Usually they run away, in my experience. Oh man, <laughs> that was uh, not what I expected to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about him. Uh, oh, all right, so we just gathered their flesh. That's awesome. Um, that's <laughs> normally, normally the uh, the odd toad ungulates aren't known for their aggressiveness, but there we are. It's probably rabid chaos elk. Indubitably. Oh, this is a big ass map. Oh. Oh, phylacines. Their life ends here. Let us strike as one. Wait, do a charge. This didn't work. I must be doing it. Oh, is it difficult terrain? Because it's raining. Do not that. There's a moose on the map. Nice. I definitely want to fight a moose. All right. So my walking. Are they walking slow? It's because of the rain. Okay. I 
was to be my next question. Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah, that's a like, yeah, difficult terrain. Uh. Ah. Ha! It's a little satchel. Aha, a test of my oh my god, giant frogs! Oh no! Where's Geese Rabbit when we need her? Alright. Your life ebbs low. Oh man, <laughs> they Oh no! Oh <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Wow. Frogs! <laughs> oh, bye, nobody. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not not looking, toads. Oh, wow. An agate earring. Nice. A silver buckle. And cash. Yeah, slan. Slan are messed up. Fiend folio, dude. Fiend folio by the way so this with the rain speaking of rain we were recording glass can't the, the core podcast last night and there was a massive thunderstorm going on lightning flashing across the sky and it was so cool the other, it was kind of a dramatic thing happening as well and it was really really neat anyway you'll hear it soon do what I yeah, put, put this in your book. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta check out this map, y'all. Um. Oh, find the scenes. Get them. Oh man, they go down so good. Cool. Um, the end draws near. All right, we probably should rest. Uh, soon, but I'm gonna do a little more exploration first. Save quickly. <laughs> God, that's fair. Um. What's that? Oh, hello. Perception check succeeded. DC 19. Nice job, Amiri. Ooh, golden earring. Radar love. Bump, 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 bump. I love that song. I've been driving all night. My hands went on the wheel. Meow, na, 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 meow. And I put, what was that? Golden earring. Golden trinket. And gold coins. The voice of my head just does my heel. My baby called, said I need to heal. And it's a half ass when I'm shifting gear. Um, missing anything? That's rather a personal question, Mr. Phoenix. Man, this fog. This fog is crazy. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Sorry. Serves you right. Serves you right, you right stupid elk. Here. Skin. Very nice. It puts the lotion in the basket. Alright. Oh, Genevieve! Hello!
Oh, whoa. Law nature. Oh, shit. This looks bad. Save again. Done. The dead man's face is set in a mask of terror. The body is covered with burns. DC 19. Nice! Uh, yeah, this looks like a bad thing happened here. But he's got some stuff, so let's run through his possessions. Ooh! Ancient Rustlandic coin. Very nice. Alright, so he's rotting. The vegetables are still standing. And we've got a silver ring. Alright. Oh, yeah. All kinds of stuff over here. Ooh, a dueling sword. Okay, I don't think any of us can use it. Don't rest in the camp. Okay. All right. Uh, high Dharma, don't need it. Cure light wounds, excellent. And cash again, good. Oh, in this camp. Oh, I see. All right. Good to know. Oh, wow. Applause, please. Hey, you did it, Lindsay. Nice. DC 15. Well done. Uh, decorated scabbard. Uh, silver chain. Silver chain. There's lots of eggs in this satchel and cash. Yeah, I, I would not. I don't think I would rest in this particular camp. Seems pretty creepy. There are enough supplies to encamp once. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it though. Um, all right. Oh, this is quite a, quite a find here. All right. <laughs> per Colorado Spaces instructions, I will not rest there. I just love that light effect. Is there a light spell too? Is that in the game? I'm there. I'm there. By the way, that's one thing that kind of bums me out. I knew when they were planning this game, we were talking about it was before we went official with Paizo and everything. We were talking about, like, wouldn't it be cool if we went official with Paizo and, like, we had our characters as, like, Easter eggs in the game or something. That would be really cool. But that is not the case, I don't think. That would be really cool. That was something we, me and Grant talked about. I thought it would be really awesome. But you deserve it. Oh, there's a lot of these things. Not Beldrick. This will hurt. <laughs> Nice. Kill them. Nice. Uh, cool. That's a lot of uh, behind the scenes. Oh, and dead kobolds up here, too. Interesting. My search was not in vain. My search was not in vain. What'd you get there? DC 19. Nice. Nice, Hiram. My skills are absolute. Yeah, seems like uh, perception is still a great investment. Is that Alka's Fire? It is. Awesome. And a wand of ear piercing scream. You unleash a powerful scream, inaudible to all, but a single target. The target is dazed for one round and takes 1d6 points of sonic damage per two caster levels. Maximum 5d6. Successful save negates the daze effect and halves the damage. I think, hopefully, Lindsay can use that. Uh, well, you at, Lindsay? Yes. Yeah, okay, so that goes in. One of the special items here. What is this? Scroll. 
Did I miss anything? Oh, I sure did. All right. Is Kingmaker set after Giant Slayer? I thought it was the other way around. Harem, everybody. In due time. Yeah, this is a big map. Yeah, conditions are great. I, I just, uh, for me, it was the same with Baldur's Gate. I would just, like, get kind of um, caught up in other things, and I would just stop micromanaging. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Aha! Shield of Faith. Wow. Glad we came back. Exquisite Pearl. A short bow. Worthless. Leather armor. Worthless. All right. Wait. Is this something? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, forget it. I can, and I guess I don't. This isn't technically necessary. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, yeah. <laughs> well, she's got that low constitution. Anyway, it's not necessary for me to do all this for most the, the most part. Because anything that's not in a chest, anything that's loot that's been dropped by a person, you can collect on your way out automatically, which is kind of neat. But just on the off chance that it is in a chest or something, that I wouldn't be able to collect it. I'm there. Running won't help you. Oh. Oh no, giant centipede. I hate these things. I hate regular size centipedes too. You gross. Nice foley work. Oh wow. Stealth. Stealth attack. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, they're everywhere. I don't like surprises. A trap. Oh wow, there's a trap door. Wait, Lindsay! Damn it, Lindsay! Lindsay! Uh, switch to the old. Wait. There we go. Oh, Lindsay, no! Alright, switch back. No way. Carab, if it was all centipedes, I would just quit the campaign. I hate them. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and address this. Anything is possible. Trap here. I failed. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, we're entangled. <laughs> Difficult terrain. That is a big I I must. big AoE. I do see that, yes. Hey, Lindsay, do you think you can and get Lindsay this one without Thor. setting it off? It's just not my lucky day. Uh, what'd you roll? Oh, come on, Lindsay. You see 16, come on. Oh my god. Really? Wait, hold on. What'd you get? Come on, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay, you're, you're the worst. <laughs> Lindsay. Lindsay, no. 
Oh, this is all your fault. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Let's just wait. Fine. We'll just sit here and wait. There's no time toggle either, which is kind of a shame. All right. I'm off. We're almost there. Come on. Yeah, Lindsay, man. She does roll like Joe. Oh, finally. Good, good, good gravy. Uh, Alright, there's a thing. Aha! Another satchel. Yeah. <laughs> Don't disarm with your face. <laughs> I was watching the, the Stampy, the elephant episode of Simpsons. The other day, it was like Homer gets stuck in the in the tar pit. He's like, "No, I think I can struggle my way out. First, I'll pull out my legs with my arms, and then I'll put my arms out with my face." <laughs> so funny. It's a good show, The Simpsons. I'm a big fan. Uh, all right, let's check this Anything out. Else? Great. Oh, you actually did something successfully. DC 14. Wow, rolled 17. Nice, nice job. Uh, reduce person. Very nice. Um, mage armor. Excellent. Um, coins and a heavy pick. Don't need that. Yeah, I'm skirting the edges. Absolutely. Oh, another. Oh. What's that nondescript tangle of weeds? A token of the Dryad. Wow, a memento of times long past. A well-grounded antiquities collector might pay handsomely for it. Yeah, I tend to uh, uh, address these maps the way I would a jigsaw puzzle. Go for the edges and corners first. Um, there's a good story in the middle. All right, I will. I will get to it. I'm just gonna. I'll finish this map. I will. I will go ahead and finish this map if I can. What time is it? It is six a.m. The witching hour. Ooh, is this is a cave. <gasps> a cave. All right. I'm tempted to camp. In fact, I think I will. Uh, but first, I will spend the rest of my abilities to heal. I like that. Uh, more. And that's all of us healed. And we'll do another quick save. And camp right there. All right. How can I how can I move people off rolls? Oh, man, it manage? Ah, okay. Spy competence. Uh, Alright, do we have anyone that can do stealth? He doesn't have stealth, right? Nope. Yeah, we don't. We aren't really a stealthy bunch. Uh, Alright, yeah, we'll have him do, do that. Oh, and it automatically. Oh, that's cool. Automatically does all the healing spells. <laughs> That was an option in Baldur's Gate as well, which is nice. All right, uh, let's begin resting. She can do camouflage. Yeah, but I want to see her do the uh, special thing. You're attacked. Better ones. Whoa, what is that thing? 
That's a shocker lizard. Oh no. Jesus. Leave my dwarf alone. Okay, uh, let's try that again. So, all right, so let's see, let's see if I do, there we go. Um, can I do anything special? I can't, so, so uh, we'll do it with this cooking. Okay. Uh, try it again. What god do the six bears venerate? The men? And Gorum, of course. Because they're all such great warriors, you know. As for the women, they worship either their ancestors or Erastil. They tried to stop me from praying to Gorum, but I smashed a couple of monks, and they left me be. <laughs> Mary, she's so great. Uh, cool. Nice. That worked. That worked very well. Um, okie dokie. Oh, is there something? Aha. Huge, the intertwined roots of this huge tree cover what might be an entrance to the dungeons. Aha. All right, so maybe that's an exit. Uh, what, what am I missing? Some kind of, some kind of treasure. Aha. Ah. Oh, cool. Oh, an amulet. Nice. Magic amulet. A citrine necklace. 40 gold. Very nice. Two decorated scabbards. One for each of our Amiris. And four pearls. Enough for a beautiful necklace. This is, is that true? Or are you joking? <laughs> Amiri wants news now. Um... Let me... Demon sword plus one. You're joking, okay. Uh, what's the magical... Amulet of natural armor plus one! Jo you know what, I'm gonna give that to Amiri. Because I think she has... Yeah, her AC's 15, that's ridiculous. Oh, is she wearing one already? No, she's not. Sweet. Slightly better. Okay. Necklace. Reduce foot. Mage armor. Would like an actual mage. That'd be cool. Alright. Save again. Let's keep looking. Ah, oh, good night, pickles lover. Oh. Nope. Werewolf! Werewolf! Ow, ow. Oh my god! Oh, a trip! That was a trip attack! Yeah, the wolves, they have the trip attack. That's cool. Ooh! Man. Nice job. I'm gonna level up, man. The 
Beowulf, their castle. Uh, in due time. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave that elk alone. I'm tired. I'm not going to attack the elk anymore. <laughs> Lexington's, it's this whole family. Oh, yeah, it was a perception check. DC 17. Valerie. Natty 17. Very nice. And there is an ancient Rustlandic building up quite the numismatic collection. To victory! Hey, stay away from those elk! You should have run! Strike! <laughs> <laughs> She's great. That is cool too, how they have the timer for the turn turn counter. Oh I I hate it when they make the whimpering noise like that. Oh. Alright. Coin collection. Ha ha ha. Uh right. They have no fear of man. Deer on Fire Island. All right. Oh, Lindsay, you're still back there. All right, there's an exit from the map. Interesting. Interesting. Baldrick, it was you. Oh, you need to up your perception, boy. Ooh. Gold coins, an Aggie, potion of cure light, citrine, and a clear quartz. Very good. And. Is that bone? Oh, this bodes well. Wolves. Uh, you guys so want to negotiate, or. Are we cool? Oh, wow. The beast before you is unusually large, and its eyes especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Greetings, traveler. Oh no, it's the Gamark! Before you draw your weapon, I wish to, uh, to say I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. Wait, why is this wolf talking? Is it magical or something? I am no wolf female. I am a walk. Surprising you could live to your age without learning the difference. Well, it's never too late to teach a lesson to an insolent two-legged morsel. The beast slowly licks its teeth. Who are you calling a morsel, you pelt? Amiri glares at the beast, her hand on his sword. Right, hold, hold up, hold up. You say we could be useful to each other. Bring me someone delicious. Three or four buddies would be enough. And I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where an old traveller buried his chest. An old traveller, you say? A very old, lean and flavourless traveller. The ward grins, almost smiling. Uh... Oh man, I'm so tempted. I mean, would they, maybe they'd be interested in the burned bodies at the campsite on the other side of the map. Maybe that's what they want. But I can't deal with Lindsay's judging me. All right. Can I save this? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, no, not interested. Yeah, uh... Well, as you wish. But consider my offer. You may yet think of something. Uh, who are you? You may call me Garg Kraruch. I've lived here far longer than the rulers of these foolish tribes. I have seen much and eaten many. I have to go. 
All right, I will actually think about this. I might do that. Just purely out of curiosity. Can we move past you here? Sorry, pardon me. Excuse me, Gorok. I don't know, man. That's a toughie. That's a tough one. Uh, all right, so let's get to the middle of this map. I do what I must. I do what I please. Uh, oh, a moose! A megaloceros. Hey, moosey. What's up, dude? Uh, DC fit. Man, Baldrick's killing it with the thing. What's up, Vicky? Hematite. Very nice. A golden area. Am I driving all night? My hands went on the wheel. Oh, the what? No, I know about the tab. I didn't know there was one up there. Uh, all right, I will go look. Good night, the prank fifer. What's up, Colorado Space? Uh. By the walls, you say? Oh, over here. Aha! Ooh! A pocket mirror. Hmm. An artificial flower. Very popular in these areas. Exquisite pearl and the money. Nice. Thank you. Whoever that was, I thought we got that bit. Um. Yep, pardon me. Excuse me. No, sorry. Yep, passing through. Considering your offer, still considering it. There's a giant moose! Giant paleolithic moose down this way. I don't know if you're interested in that at all. I'm really enjoying it, Vicky. Uh, it's great. I'm enjoying it way more than the I was the beta. Uh, they've made a lot of improvements, some cosmetics, some gameplay, and it's it's great. Overgrown Passage. Interesting. Uh, athletics. So let's try that. Forget it. My search was not in vain. Uh, did you make it? Athletic sex failed. Well, where are we now? Oh, well, what? it failed, but we made it through. Right? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Alright, let's save here. And pause. Come on, Lindsay. Come on, Lindsay. Oh my god, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay, god damn you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna load. Really more because I want the experience. Uh God, Lindsay. Oh, good night, Sizzle. I will. God, Lindsay. I either need like a real rogue. I'd love a real rogue. I'd love a real rogue. Called for. Or a real uh, arcane magic user. Applause, please. Nice. What'd you get there? DC 18. Well, the 16. Okay, great. All right, so it's a 50-50 shot. These are each like 50-50 shots. Lindsay so Adventures far seems to be the worst roller on the team so far. I failed. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Just do better. You only missed it by one. Come on again. Anything else? Both of those through both of what? Oh. Oh, a rogue and an... Oh, okay, cool. The real rogue is the best companion in the game. Oh, nice. It's meta magic missile. All right. I should hunt the slaver soon. All right. Yeah, I just want to level up. I just want to... Ah, search was not in vain. Search is not in vain. I wrote it like I saw it. 
Come on, Lens. Come on. It's Level just four. Not my lucky day. Uh, what you get? You see a team. Once again, missed it by one. Jesus. <laughs> Lindsay, you were the worst. You were the worst. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lindsay. Yeah, Halfling, I want, aren't Halfling supposed to be lucky? Damn it, Lindsay. I like her. I love Halflings. I'm a big Halfling fan, but... No, man. All right, one more time. Lindsay the Magnificent? Stop dancing. Lindsay the Illustrious. Something more simple like... Lindsay, Lindsay the, the Incompetent Trap <laughs> Maybe Lindsay the Indecisive. Maybe Lindsay the... S Jesus Christ. Purple. What did you get? Well, the four. Lindsay... <laughs> God damn it, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay the dead. <laughs> Lindsay's gonna roll. Lindsay the trap driver. Come on, Lindsay. And Lindsay was called forth. She was. All right. You know what? I'm not gonna load again. I'm just gonna get everyone out of the way. Everyone ex clearly expects Lindsay to fail. What troubles you? You're constant setting off of traps. I failed. Come on. I'm sorry. It's a 50-50 shot. For God's sake. Just not my lucky day. What are you rolling? Well, an eight and a seven. All right, come on. I failed. Oh my I'm god. Sorry. A six. This is Joe level. Yeah, that's what I thought, Paralog. Oh my god! <laughs> Natty won! <laughs> what is wrong? Oh, actually, you know what? Alright, I am going to reload. I'm going to try to use uh, Harem's Touch of Chaos to see if that works. This is so... This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absurd. Yeah, someone mentioned... Seeing a lot of a lot of streakiness in the game, and I'm wondering if it's an issue with the random number generation. I, that's something that drives me nuts in games. Um, all right. Anything is possible. Let's, okay, go over here. Harim. What is this? Remove fear. Touch of chaos. Okay. What troubles you? So this should hopefully give her a, an automatic eleven. I failed. I'm sorry. I guess that did not work. What the fuck is going on? The end draws so what? Near. How does this work? Duration one round. Boots out. Castles melee touch attack. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm at a magic missile, all right. Okay, yeah, see, I thought it was like touch of law. I thought it was just a an aesthetic change, but you're right. And Lindsay was called for it. All right, we'll try it again. Applause, oh. please. Fuck you. You're not getting applause. Uh, Alright. Oh, there's people down there. Uh, Alright. Oh. Hello? Oh, they're bandits! Can we ambush them? Oh, sleeping bandits. 
Should I let them lie? No, I'll kill them. All right, I want to see what kind of approaches we can get to this. Oh, excuse me. Here I am. See. Uh, you. This guy. You go for the big one. I'm listening. Okay. I'm always ready. This will hurt. <laughs> Awesome. Tear them apart! Yes. Well, don't yell. I'm sleeping. Here. Let us strike as one. Adventures call to them. I want to take out that Serves you right. Who will prevail? Oh man, this is great. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I hate fear effects. Lindsay, music now. Uh. Oh, Amiri, can you rage? No, I can't. Lindsay, okay. Oh no! Shit. Shit. Some bullshit. That's some bullshit. I should have been able to just coot across grass them. Alright. Try that again. I thought we'd be able to just kill them outright. Apparently not. Apparently we want to be gentlemanly about it or something. should move yeah I definitely wanna I really want to take that guy out mm -hmm. actually you it's know what? time to act I'm gonna have in due time Baldrick go after this guy here I am yeah right about this Lindsay right about this awesome feat don't hesitate. Well, sorry, was lost in thought. All right. Okay, let's do this better. Yeah, that's uh, definitely my plan is to take the necromancer out before he cast that stupid spell. Uh, so. And you have, he has removed fear. All right, let's save real quick. And let's see if Aaron can cast Bless without waking them up. He can. Um, I wrote it like I saw it. All right, start singing. Wow, they are sound sleepers. Uh, Amiri. What you want? I want you to rage. When you're ready. You raging? My skills are absolute. Give the order. Well, tear them apart! Everywhere I go, everywhere you look. Over everything. Though people say it was better before I arrived. 
Oh! oh that was awesome. Oh. 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 Mary. Oh my god. Okay, that is what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Critical hit. 31 damage. 2d8 plus 6 times... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Put that in your book. That was it. That was fantastic. All right. So are, I, I wonder, are we getting a surprise round here? Just letting the ink dry. Serves uh, you right. That guy actually... Ooh, sneak attack. Wait, who sneak attack? Uh, lovely dwarf. Oh, and he still doesn't have a potion. There we go. Yeah, doggy. Celestial dog. Goodness. Oh shit. Oh, this guy's tough. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. Whew. Okay. Alright, so stabilize. Oh man, that was tough. Alright, uh, Masterwork Greatsword. Yes, I will definitely be taking that. Lots of gold coins, chocolates. Um, some almost there. Potion of gear, light wounds, alchemist, fire. Uh, brassers and rice, flour. Oh god, we chunked. I'll that looks so fucking amazing. Oh no, that's not. Right. What is this? That is, I believe, magical leather armor of some kind. Beautiful. Can we sleep here? No. Ah, a sack. Uh, milk! Great, that should keep. Hey man, I go, I follow the words of the Bible. Thou shalt not suffer a bandit to live. It's in the book of Corazonians. I like her little dance. That's so cute. Uh, Alright, I should. Alright, let's get our healing in order. Huh? Um. Nice. Nice work. All right, and let's see. Let's heal. Fabrizio Turios. Fabrizio Turios. What troubles you? Uh, I'll tell you what troubles. Oh, she should use more of her like cool spells like this. I should remember to do that. I always like forget to do that stuff. Yes. <laughs> the Book of Corleones. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, we're all good. Awesome. Um. Right. Uh, all right. I'm actually going to keep going without resting here, even though we're out of healing. Oh, but I do want to make sure that uh, Harren has his potions. Uh, let's see. So let's get a potion cure now on there. Lovely. Leather armor plus one. What do you got there, Lindsay? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Leather armor. Good. So that is best for you. So that will put you already see that one. Nice. And we'll drop that. Uh, let's 
something else in my oh bracers. I found some bracers. Uh, actually, we should. I've got two braces of armor plus one. I think there's two of those. Yeah. And sell one. I won't need both of those. Good night, Mr. Phoenix. Thank you for all your help. All right. Uh, so let's save. Oh, look at the cute little bunny. Oh, look at him. It's getting dark. What time is it? Oh, yeah, 7.30 at night. And this is... Gazran is April, I believe, in the calendar. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's the... About to get to the heart of the plot. Okay, good to know. Let's keep saving then. Good night, Aramil. Oh, hello. I'm there. Oh, what is this thing? That's a worm. Never heard of that. Ooh, a crumpled letter. My dear, cannot Playmer. With your desire to pursue a new archaeological mission in mind, I spent a few hours in my library today and identified a location worthy of your research. In the northeastern part of the River Kingdoms lies a region called the Stolen Lands. Many antiquities can be found in such places. No doubt an inquisitive researcher could be able to find old coins, significant cultural remnants, and even pieces of artifacts that might be restored. Aha! Okay. Naturally, you shall require the services of a specialist to evaluate your findings during your travels. I have no doubt of your ability to recruit such a specialist once you arrive in the Stolen Lands. Such contacts can typically be made in large cities or settlements. Do not want to return journey encumbered with items of scant value or interest, after all. Before you set off, it is my obligation to warn you that this place is untamed and can be perilous. Watch not only for bandits and monsters, but also impassable swamps and dangerous open plains. Should you decide to visit the Stolen Lands, I strongly urge you, Kenoth, to hire a professional guide, and better yet, guards. It is wise to take precautions. I should appreciate it greatly if you turned with a few amusing curiosities for me as a token of our friendship. Your true friend, Agneth Bregan. Clearly, he did not value that piece of advice. I'll take that. I will take another Scorched Fragment of a Necklace. I feel like I'm getting close to something there. Another Rustlandic coin. Restavic Ranger's Broken Arrow. This item once belonged to an ancient brethren. It may have been interested in antiquities experts. Cool. And cash. Right. I tell you, in Galarian, you could make a pretty good living just wandering around and picking stuff off people who died. Uh, right, let's save again. And kill this awful looking half amphibian. Their life ends here. Rage. They go down. Oh yeah. Oh no, they're poisonous. Oh. Baldrick. Oh, did you get poisoned? Very fatigued. All right, so let's break this down. Uh all right, so roll an Addy 20. Critical confirm. Full of 19 on the confirm. Uh, strength plus four. Plus two bonus for flanking. Wow, awesome. And you did 22 damage. Very nice. Ow. Nice. stuff here. Very nice. Save again. Oh, she's... Ooh, she's down to one hit point. Damn. I think 
it might be... I think it... Right now, I think it's a, probably a little easier than tabletop. But I think the difference with tabletop is... You have... You have a group of players each playing their own character who they ideally know their, all their abilities really well. And they can, they can micromanage a lot better like fights like this. Something that I just I'm not doing. It's just I'm not taking the time. Um, so I think I'm making it harder than it needs to be. Plus one bonus on all saving throws. Oh, very nice. And we're all out of healing, Countess right? Awaits us. Uh, no, damn it! Ugh. All right, that you need a better system for that because I keep like accidentally clicking on the spell itself rather than getting the healing. Patience. That I want. Adventures call to them. All right. Uh, uh, skip on yes. Amiri. Yes. yes. And you are done. You are done, milady. Uh. All right, I gotta camp. Um. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Let's rest. To victory! Oh no! Uh oh. Stupid bandits! Oh, Mary, be careful. Could be worse. And will be. Definitely will be. Kill it! Kill it! What are you? Good. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> nice job on the camera, Lindsay. Aren't you cold just wearing those hides? They cover almost nothing. <laughs> Is it ever cold here? You could walk around naked, bouncing your boobs. My homeland. <laughs> That's where it's cold. Spit freezes before it hits the ground. Damn. All right, we didn't get the meal. That's fine. Go our rest. What's up, Alchemage? Welcome. Willkommen. Good question, Vicky. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we've got some healing to do. Yes, I'm still here. Alright, uh Turinos. Turinos. Anything is possible. Okay, let's cure light on the cleric. Yeah, I'll come in. This get again. This game, I've been really enjoying it. It's great. Uh, yeah. Ooh, a sack. Ooh, decorated scanner, gold coin, and a silver embroidered piece. All right, uh, I really do want to finish this because I want to make a phone call. Um, all right, let's save again. Another giant frog! Two of them, in fact. You deserve we it. will prevail. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I feel bad for these fucks. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I'm completely avoiding what I should be going after. Ooh. Save here, ability. Uh, oh, I still got it. Day. What happened? What's going on? Applause, please. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, a turquoise. A fowl, money, and a rapier. Oh, all kinds of cool stuff up here. All right. Green quartz, exquisite pearl, money. Lindsay. Anything else? Oh, yeah. What'd you get there? DC 15. Nice. A large person, great. I'll start using that. Golden trinkets, silver inkwell, gold. Applause, I think what please. happened is we were all trying to climb the tree and we all fell. Oh, what's this? Wand of bleh. Oh, it's uh, I don't know. Fucking logo. A nice person again. Oh, 311 coins. That's awesome. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Um, all right. So I think I have to get back down the tree. No, everyone. Applause, please. Good job. Oh, and ooh, there's a thing there. Oh, wow. Garnet ring. Nice. Ooh, 87 gold. Bone necklace. Bone necklace. Jade, love that movie. I do what I must. <sighs> Just a lot of a lot of fun times in that movie. All right. Um. I'm off. Say, oh god, we gotta rest again. Yeah, I gotta rest again. Uh, rest. Ah, test of my oh no! Again, nice job. Had I not hiding had the key. followers in my darkest hour, I might have taken the same path as you. I don't think of it as a path. The gods simply don't have a place in my life, that's all. And if you were disappointed in the gods, you would be preaching atheism as passionately as you preach the teaching of Grotus. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to stop here, uh, because if it is like starting a new quest, main quest thing, uh, I shouldn't do it, I shouldn't start it this late at night. Um, actually, hold on, let me just gather this quickly, uh, Poe, awesome. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Still really enjoying this. Uh, tomorrow night, again, going to be twitching with Grant and Ellie. Spider-Man in all likelihood. Hopefully, if you can get it to work. going to be super fun. And then Friday night, we got our newest play test edition featuring Paizo, uh, creative director, CEO, president. I don't know, something. Paizo something. Eric Mona. It's going to be super fun. 
and uh, then we head to LA. So everybody have a great night. Uh, tomorrow night it'll probably be 7.30 or 8 Eastern time. Uh, depending, I'll tweet out uh, as soon as I can get everyone's schedules in order. Everybody have a good night. And yeah, you'll be, oh yeah, well you'll be in LA, and yeah, I'll see many of you in, in LA. Hopefully, publisher, yes, publisher. Uh, okay.